Now, lovely, I shall transform your hair, create a masterpiece. I am an artist with a pile of scissors. My new cuts got him talking at the barbershop Press from the barbershop, flop in the beauty salon My new cuts got him talking at the barbershop I got a show where you can listen and view My new cuts got him talking at the barbershop Bring him out with some together with the sister salute My new cuts got him talking at the barbershop One cut, two cut, two cut, four Spending hours in salons on your hairstyle. For oh, the Lord protects his barbers and he makes the stubble grow. Caesar! Salute! Salute! Welcome to the Sis Salute Show. I'm your host, Eli DeBarber. My co host for the evening is out. Blazing Bluffs is not here, but Jesse That Cut is here. He brought himself a, a guest. Yes, yes. This is Etu from Finland. From Finland. Etu the father. And we also have BBA creator Dante Financial is here. So this is a salute, everyone. let's get right into the meaning of the Sis Salute, Sis Salute, which is a gesture, compliment, greeting, lifestyle, brand, dedicated to bringing barbers, hairstylists, Make up artists together worldwide. And we use the Scissor Salute Show as an outlet to actually make that happen. Every Monday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we give the opportunity for the visual artists to come down here and showcase their skills live on the Scissor Salute stage while conducting interviews with them and also taking phone calls in with some of your favorite visual artists from across the globe so you can find out how they got started, where they currently are, where they're planning to be going on their journey. Now, this is the age of the independent educator. So if you, you know, basically when I say that, you don't, you do not longer have to reply, rely on, monkey, that's your ass. You do not have to <laughs> rely on big companies to get your brand out there or any type of educating. You can use your social media as a tool to take full advantage to promote yourself to now become an educator. The problem is you might not, have what it takes. That's mm. the harsh reality. In this. reality. Again, there's barbers and there's people who cut hair. There's people who are really great at it and then there's people that are not so great at it. But it doesn't stop you from making money. The point is this. If you have interest in getting from behind the chair and going beyond the chair and you want to see if you have what it takes, you can email us. Or if you want to advertise with us or book us for a show, you can email us. Scissorsalute at yahoo.com. Please leave all your contact information and we get back to you in the order that the emails are received. We'd like to thank everybody who's been using the hashtag. It is up to about 650,000 and grown. That means over 650,000 posts have used the hashtag Scissorsalute. So we do. So definitely we'd like to thank everybody for doing that. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, Smoke Signals, it's everything is Scissor Salute Show. Okay, so if you would like to show some support right now, if you're watching this on Facebook, underneath my finger right here, there is the share button. Press that share button, put it on your feed. And then after that, press that share button one more time and then invite others and also share it in groups that we're all part of. Now, let's do a recap of last week's show. Last week's show, showcasing from Paramount Styles, located in Dix Hills, New York, we had Nelson Rafael. His IG mm -hmm. handle is Junior underscore Paramount Styles. We like the Sis Lou Junior. Great story with him. He actually was cutting hair, then stopped cutting hair. What? And then came back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's always great to hear and see when people feel like, you know what, this might not be for them, and then they come back. Little fun fact, uh, Lou Fajitian, the guy he works for, used to be his barber. And Lou Fajitian is the one that got him into the profession, and ah, I was working for him. Really? Yeah. Wow. We're filled with like them Snapple fun facts. Yeah. We got them all, all day here. Except we're not checking on the And like Snapple, that's how we open. That's, that's how we do it. And oh, hold up, because 
we I usually have you know a little bit of none of that. Okay, <laughs> and Long Island hairstylist Michelle. Her IG handle is styled by Michelle. It's great. Um, she's uh, a great braider, and at the same time, she is motivated to get out there and get it. It's one thing about being in this profession and it's another thing about being in this profession and wanting to go out and get it. Mm. There's a lot of opportunities. Very true. And some of us won't take advantage of the opportunities or some of us are just too scared to take them. Michelle looks like she's just getting started in this in the social media aspect and this is not going to be the last we see of her. And I know this for sure because I think we invited her to come back and she's hopefully she takes us up on our offer one we need people from long island for last minute booking so if you're watching this show and you're from the tri-state area email us scissorsalute at yahoo.com and when you leave your contact information say hey i would like that last minute act what i mean by that is if say for some for whatever reason saturday comes and the feature cancels we can go to you and say, hey, come down here. That's right. Yeah. It happens. We it happens. Six, and, six you know, we, we have a couple people on. Well, as we would say in the shop, on deck. And, okay, so we're going to go to the surprise, surprise guest. Surprise guest. Again, live show here. And sometimes it happens. <laughs> Last week. It happened. it happened. We had Lee from Barbershop Connect. Since Luke to Lee, I've seen him at the CT yeah, Barber so Expo, which we're going to be getting big into. Big job, big job. And he brought down Kiyoshi from Masutani Scissors. So make sure you check them out, Masutani Scissors. And for everybody who's like, Scissors Salute Show, it's we use shears in this profession. We know this. <laughs> we know this. But you know what? Charlie, who's at home right now, doesn't know what shears are. He knows what scissors are. And that's what the owner of the brand came up with. Scissors Salute will be able to relate to if you're not in our profession. That's right. A little fun fact. But I just think it's crazy that Misutani is called Misutani Scissors. Again, they're trying to reach a global thing. And they're arguably, quote unquote, the best. Mm what I hear. And we also had Daisuke Komusu, CEO of Ooh. Mr. Brothers underscore Cut Club. I believe they have three locations in Japan and increasing and they have the, the, the biggest franchise uh, shop. And we also had Mr. B for Mr. Beauty. If you're not familiar with Mr. B, make sure you follow him on IG, Mr. Beauty's Equipment, located in Freeport and Long Island. And if you call up Mr. B and you get some furniture from them, you can go back to that picture, uh, LA, so I can just get back to that, that. So call up Mr. B, you buy furniture from him, he will <laughs> offer you a free like layout for your business. Yep. Yeah. So make sure you, uh, you hit him up and tell him that Sis Salute sent you. We'd also like to scissor salute Harry Houdini, who's in that photo. He was here last week holding it down, and it's always great to have Harry Houdini. I said it last week on the show. I want him and Jesse that cut, myself and Blazing Blush, to do a show. Oh, man, what a show. What a be. Because when <laughs> Harry Houdini and Jesse that cut are in here, I try to be on point and try to sound smart because they use, like, multiple <laughs> syllable <laughs> words and stuff. They're like Stephen A. Smith that of this, I swear. That I can show. <laughs> and we'd also like to scissor salute Lou the Fagician that is in that picture and my nephew Julian. You do not know what that man went through last week. He got into an accident, but he said, you know what? I'm not going to let this ruin my date deal. I gave him a skin fade, and uh, Michelle braided him up, and sis salute to Julian because he ended up bringing myself and Sephiro again. And one more thing about the sis salute show. The show was co-produced by the co-owner of the sis salute, New York and Queen. We'd like to sis salute her and wish her happy birthday. It was happy a birthday, birthday weekend. Yeah. And it is, the sis salute is produced by the owner, Sephiro, and we're broadcasting live via Strong Island TV, Paradise Studios, and LA is on the boards. Yeah, and usually I do that and then I start rambling on a little bit more. Let's do 
Who do we have this week? We have from Uppercuts Barbershop, located in West Islip, New York, Gus. His IG handle is Uppercuts Barbershop. That's him right there. I like to sis-loot Uppercuts right there. I like to sis-loot him. There's one thing. He does shoot hoops, not guns. Ooh. A lot of people have movements. But this is a movement that's been going on for quite some time. And he puts in his work, and he works with nice. Lisa G from Hot 97. Okay. I know this because Gus has been on the show a couple times. Yes. And I also follow him, and I watch him. I like as much pictures as I can. Another thing, he supports Long Island. If you notice, the cape that he has on is King Midas' cape. That's right. Right out of here, Long Island. And uh, sis salute to my girl, Saleka, who's in here, my kids. Nice. Mm -hmm. My girl's so brother cool. is the maker of those capes. You know, I met him for the first yeah. time this weekend. Yeah, and he was over I there. I had no the idea CT there was a relationship Expo. there. Yep. That's what's so up. we'd like to see Luke Gus Man. and the rest of his barbers there. And it's uh, great to have Gus in here, who's owner of Uppercuts, and he has some great intake of how he runs his business, his tight his ship over there. Nice. And it's really, it's really like a team thing. That everyone's coming together. It's nice. it's great to see shops that are established like that. And other, you know, hopefully he shops. If you're watching right now and you have that little bit of struggle, you can hear what Gus has to say. We'll hopefully we have him mic'd up a little bit later. I know he's going to be showcasing right now. And he's also going to be... Are those the cordless seniors? <laughs> okay, so he has the cordless seniors he's so, on right now. so angry right now. I think those are the first ones we've seen here in the studio. Them cordless seniors. So a, lot of, a lot of first going on today. <laughs> and if you're wondering what guard, he's using the Speedo guides. If I notice okay. that's a Long Island thing, All we right. love them red guards. We love them. And he, he has a one and a half, which I just learned about a year ago. I thought that was a number two. Like, no, he lost a one, one and a half. half. Like, oh, well, I've been dropping this <laughs> for the past 17, 18 years. Very nice. But anyway, if you're, again, if you're watching the show going, hey, why is he wearing gloves? Again, I'll explain that. Yes. He's wearing gloves, number one, because it's the best way to keep it sanitary. That's the best way. That's the best. It's the bottom line. Number two is the hair splinters. You don't want hair splinters. Some of us won't realize we have hair splinters until Yo. we put our hands Yo. in our pocket. And that happens. And then the hair underneath the nails, it's a whole <sighs> different hair splinter. That's the feeling that you feel. It comes up to your elbow. Okay. So calling in from the creator of the DC Expo, which... I'm, I'm hearing really good things about this DC Expo. I'm good. hearing it. I know a lot of people, we're going to touch on something once we get back. And I might, I'm going to save that for him. Hernson. Yeah, yeah. It's Hernson the Barber. I'm going to save yeah. it for him. And we have Paul Jones calling in. His IG handle is Paul Jones 1228. In studio guests, we already announced him, Jesse that cut. We also have E2. Et tu. Et tu. Et tu. Et tu. Well, I see the double E. I'm going to go to E. <laughs> so we got Etude, Etude Barber. His IG handle is E-E-T-U-D-E-B-A-R-B-E-R. -E 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 Calling in, we also have the Sheba Lifestyle Drill. And, oh, okay, so we have Mr. B. And we'll, we'll be having a financial segment, of course, with Dante being here. So let's get back. Maybe we could do a picture in picture now. Here we go. It's coming. Yeah, maybe not. Gus is, God, let Gus get that right there. He got him. And Gus, I didn't even see you there yesterday. I seen a picture. I was like, what? Anyway, I'd also like to see salute Justo, the hair assassin, for, uh, you know, showing me some love, brought me there. And I actually brought him around, introduced him to everybody. Yeah. And he yeah. had his students there with him, too. Is that who's with them? Yes. So I met you guys. I didn't. I, I saw like a trail of people following you guys. Yeah, he that had. Well, he had his his students there. We like we broke up. Yeah, yeah. When course, we walked course. in there, but nice. I I had a chance to introduce the students to. Uh, that was nice. Ice. Ice Style Barber. Nice, very nice. Well, yeah, you, you introduced me to her, and too. Ice Style Barber, which is Floyd yeah. Mayweather's barber. Right. Now, I feel right. like that's important to meet someone like that because you're coming into a profession where there is limit. There is limitless. It is a limitless mm -hmm. profession. Limitless. And now you're meeting someone who's limitless. Mm -hmm. 
right off the gate. You walked in, <laughs> boom. Yep. I brought her over. Yep. Now you're meeting someone. So yep. if you're hearing, oh, you can't get this amount of money, no. she is on a set salary with Mayweather. Yep. I, they, they, I think it's like undis undisclosed, like how much yeah, money she actually makes. It's up there. It's yeah. up there. She, she, I think she used to talk about it, now she don't. No, she don't talk about it. Now no. she talk about it. I and <laughs> I also had a chance to introduce him. See, he had three female students. I had a chance to introduce him to Mariela the Barber. Abichuelas. Okay. Very, when I mean it's important because Abichuelas, she told them she got into it where it was just like, I came into this and guys, you know, weren't really giving her a chance. Mm. But her skills prevailed. Mariela the Barber from Arizona, same thing. And I feel, I, I, when I introduced her, I, I said her name the wrong way. <laughs> but I do remember Mariela, she has this crazy technique, buzzer over comb. I know other barbers do it. But it's great to see someone just, she embraces it and gets out and get it. Okay, so let's get right into it. CT Barber Expo, mm. 2018. Woo! The best one the best. he has had. The best. Absolutely. I've been going Hands since down. 2013, which, which was one of my favorites. Yeah. 2013. But I think it was more or less because it was my first one. Got it. And you, I was just like, wow. You know, yeah, yeah. I ran into Radimus Perez yeah. there. Uh, yeah. He's not even everything was new. That feeling, yes. yeah, yeah. So, 2013 was yeah. great. 2018, my lord, killed it. And one thing that I did notice, which is great, it seemed like all the booths were selling. Man, they were moving stuff, man. It seemed like all the booths were selling. Uh, it, it, so that's great. Yeah, because, you know. Number one, it's on a Sunday, so that's yep. family time. So you're mm -hmm. cutting that off. Now you're reinvesting into your brand. You're putting your yep. brand out there. Yep. You're spending time. You get in this booth. You got to get there early because you got to set up. Then you got to leave because they need to have everyone else come back in. So yep. you set up whatever. Great. Everybody out. Boom. Then we got to bring yep. everybody back in and make sure that yep. everyone has bands or whatever and yep. everyone's accounted for. So now you're in there. Mm -hmm. So now you're in there and you're cutting hair. Now you're just, that's it. You're in this area mm -hmm. which i've worked the show three years in a row yeah i've worked the show it's a different feeling being able to walk around was great that was me too that's the same thing being able to that's walk around was great Yo, I, we gotta say i got i, I know what you said we're gonna do this is salute to jay yeah for real we, salute to jay big names, time man. big time to the salute yes. i mean you you went all out this year anybody that went knows how great of a show that was um, he, he had it. I'm, I'm going to talk real quick about my man Etu for, for just a second. So Jay had a, a video contest early on during the year. He was going to have the show and he, he, make a minute video, right? You had to make a, a video, yeah, so right? The video. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so the, what was the concept behind it? You had to make the video and then how did you get picked by how many people voted for you or how many people liked your, liked your video? Uh, I think I had something like, uh, 6,000 of yes votes. 6,000 votes yeah. for this video, right? From Finland. Finland, not like somewhere in the States. So Jay, Jay gets this, Jay picks this, Jay picks Etu, and I'm sure he, like he said at the show, he was hoping that it was somebody from like Boston where he had to just drive him over. So now he has to fly him in. Um, I'm on the unofficial concierge service for uh, Jay Major for the weekend. Got to show you around, right? Yeah. Picked you up, picked you up in Brooklyn, brought you to the show. Um, how was it, man? How'd you like it? We liked it. I mean, Eli's been there. Yes. I've been there. But this is your first time to America, too? Yeah, yeah. First yeah. time to America. First time to New York. Yeah. First time to a, a barber, U.S. barber battle, yeah, period. Yeah, and first time in an actual barber expo. First time in a barber expo. Yeah. So, so what was your feeling? So, what was, how did it go? You know, what are you uh, bringing back with you? What, what's going back to what, what's going back to Finland with you? You know, I've been I've been following Barber from states. You know, all my career that yeah. I've been cutting. That I, and I, it has been my big dream to get on the stage someday. Nice. So the chance that I won, it was it was awesome. Yeah. And a trip and everything over here, it it was more than I expected. Nice. Uh, for real, it was more than I expected. A everything in Good. here. Everything in Expo, everything in city, everything. <laughs> yeah. So that was so. So you you get there. We show up the first night. Now Jay has this in conjunction with uh, Babyless Clippers. Did I say that right? Yeah. Babyless Clippers. Babyless. Oh, I say Babyless. Right? Babyless. 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 I say no. I say Babyless because it rhymes with fabulous. <laughs> 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 so in conjunction with that, 
they release their new cordless clipper. Right. Right. So they had this whole pre-party that we got to go to. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Right. <laughs> Shut it down. And um, do you mind if I show show them the clipper? Do you mind no, if I show it? So premiere premiered on on the Lou show. All right, if you want to switch it over here, uh, LA, because he's about to unveil the Holy Grail. <laughs> so during the show, we all get we get a nice video. We get a whole on, entourage. Take a whole, whole nugget out. It's coming. Hold on, man. They don't know it's a gold about nugget. To open it up. Hold on. <laughs> he's he's looking what's going on. So on the stage, Ooh. on the stage, there was a hundred of these gold bars. Just sitting there like this, all piled up, right? Like a big King Midas joint. And we didn't know what they were. We just thought they was gold clipper. Then all of a sudden, they decided to give them out to everybody. So I know you guys can't zoom in on that real quick, but that's what's going on. These are new gold FX clippers. Take them out real quick. Ah, ah, feel that. Feel that. You would have thought they would have been heavy, though. Well, they're, they're not. Thunder, thunder, thunder. In the sight, beyond sight. Man, the presentation was amazing. I gotta tell you the truth, man. That was the presentation for this whole thing was out of control, and everybody kind of knows. I, I don't. I, I rock with a certain brand, but man, this was the way that they went about this release was was pretty was pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's go yes. for that, that Dante. So, so that's what happened. So you got that right. You got you got a pair. Yeah. Then I we went, own pair. went went the whole day. You also did the um, competition, right? Yeah, I did. Now was that your first competition? Yeah, it was. First competition on on US anywhere. <laughs> yeah, first competition anywhere. So let me tell you what happened. He learned a lot at this show. Not only is he learning all this stuff, but he had to learn how to get his own model. We know how to do that. How yes. goes, right? <laughs> that's stressful yeah. enough. He got his own model. Then the model said he had to leave. At the last Happens. minute, right? So then we're finding another model, and then, you know, probably through all the excitement and everything that happens that goes on with the show, coming to America, and everything else that happens, we realize that his U.S. plugs, are, of course, are not going to work inside our inside our his European plugs yeah, are European not going to work inside our Europe uh, our American plugs. So now we have to find him clippers. Free clippers. So we got clippers. So we got clippers going on. We, we went through a whole. We went through a whole shit bill, man. But you, you pulled it off, man. So congratulations, bro. By the way, speaking of clippers, thank you. Thank you. Ah, I'm gonna have to ask you to hand that back over. There, so. Well, it's, well, again, Jay Majors did it up real <laughs> he big. He did it big. He did it big. And one Absolutely. of the things that I wanted to touch up on, you know, because I talked to a couple of barbers and I'm like, oh, you going to, you going to CT Barber Expo? Nah, I want to such and such thing, man. I, I don't like competitions. Ah, uh. what? And it makes you understand when some people who have the expo connected to it and they're able to do it, why sometimes they might frown upon a barber battle. They're frowning upon a barber battle that's none, not done the right way. Now they're not putting it down. It's not a form of hate. But at the same time, if it's not done the right way, yeah. it's going to stop people from going, wanting to go to another event. It's so true. when I'm sitting there talking to a guy, he's like, wow, CT Barber was really that good. I'm like, bro, they don't call it the Super Bowl a, of a Barber, barber Battles yep. for no reason. That's right. It's called an expo, but, you know, you talk to a couple barbers, they're going to say it's the Super Bowl of Barber Battles. Yeah. You know? Yep. It's yep. just, Different world. you know, he just remarketed and it put is. the expo there. And mm -hmm. if you see it, it quickly became like a trend because now if you have something that's pretty big, it's expos thrown on it. There's nothing wrong with no, nothing wrong with it at all. But the lengths that Jay Majors went to yesterday, you really got to see. And he got what? He's probably going to relax for, for a couple days and it's right Start back. Start right back over. Getting ready for 2019. That's right. Quick right. little fun fact. Fun fact right here. We're going to say it here on the show. And if Jay, you're watching right now, fun fact. He opens up the booths for 2019 in July. So stay, pay attention to Jay underscore Majors. You heard it first. You can get a discount on the booths for 2019 this July. He starts. And I know that because it's near my birthday. Man. He opens up some sort of like discount where yep. you can buy, buy booths yep. for 2019. So if you're a brand that's getting just getting started, you have to really think of the future. Or if you're a brand that is currently, you know, trying to, you know, you're doing yeah. something, and oh man, I missed it, man. Next yeah. year, next year, July, 2018, 
J Majors opens up the availability to get your booths for 2019. And it's, you know, you click the link on his bio and just pay attention. Pretty sure he's going to relax with it and it's getting right back to I the don't, line for 2019. I, you know, I don't know what the exact numbers were for this one. Um, you know, we've, we've been to, I've been to four. You've been to, you've been for a while now. Uh, yeah, right? I've been pretty much, I've right. been, yeah, 2013. Yeah. I think is my first so, one. so I, this was the biggest one. But yeah, I, the way that this layout for me personally, this layout compared to some of the other ones, I love this layout. Oh. It was great. Not only for the people, but for the vendors. From both sides, I think it worked out fantastic. So whatever you guys did this year, Jay, you guys doing it big. Continue to do that, man. I think it worked out really, really good. You know and let me, let me take a chance to say salute uh, London Cheeris, who's watching, uh, Anis Hibach, and uh, Sarah Jane Collins, says salute. Uh, let me know where you guys are from. What were you going to say, Dante? You know, I, um, um, what I really liked about the uh, CT Expo, it was a lot of shop owners that was there selling their brand and their products. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, you know, um, unlike other shows where, you know, you have these pro you have these product companies, you saw a lot of barbers. So, I seen Sne um, Sneed and V12. Oh, man. Um, man, they, let's go on, man. It was a lot. It, I'm, I'm going to say... I, a minimum at least five shops that I saw a truth to barber from um, Alaska yeah it, it, yep. it was it was amazing yeah and that's I think that's one of the <clears throat> one of the nice things about this particular event um, as you were just saying because you go to IBS you go to some of these bigger bigger ones and I love them I love those events yeah. uh, this event is so catered to us specifically as barbers that yeah. it's so homegrown so you get a lot of those, you know, those homegrown brands, and they're 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 getting they're making their way in the world, you know. And that there's something raw about that. I love that feeling about people that you know put in there from the beginning. And now they're growing their, their success. So definitely. Uh, once again, you're watching the Sid Salute Show, which is a live program for barbers, hairstylists, and makeup artists to to showcase their skills. Right now, you're watching Gus from Uppercuts Barbershop, located in uh, Long Island, and this guy got the cordless Andes too. It's, it, he, he got the cordless seniors. Now he got the cordless <laughs> and this. And let me tell you something. This man stays branded. Nice. I seen him nice. in Atlantic City. I seen him in Atlantic City. And he's branded. <laughs> he had the, the uppercuts. Okay. All right. All right. He's, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a good time, Ned. And uh, I was, you know... There was an event going on there with Maestro's Classic. I think nice. it was like two years ago. But uh, Maestro's, we, they didn't do nothing last yesterday. They had uh, Respect My Craft, booth 1157 yeah. with Joe, uh, Caesar, but he did it upon himself. Yep. So it's a loop. Maestro's yeah. Classic, as you know, is partnered up with the Philadelphia 76ers uh, with WWE, NASCAR. Mm. And if you watch Ooh. that Adrian Brano boxing match... Yeah, did you catch that? Maestro's match? Classic was there too. Did you catch that? On the that? teleprompter, did, did the, the, you, the Jumbotron, did, Maestro's did, Classic was there. They're now with Brooklyn Boxing trying to make some moves. Man. So, you look, you know, yeah, wait for our Maestro's to be at the Barclays. They're going to be coming to New look York. Look out, look out. Man, they and got the Barclays. You seen the we fight? Got, we, got seen the fight? we got talk. That was a good fight, man. Jesse Vargas and Adrian Brana, that was a good fight. It was a good yeah. card. There was some good boxing match. Yeah. That boxing yeah. match went back yeah. and forth. Yeah. And uh, it was just good. Okay, L.A., that picture that I sent you, the sneakers, can you get that up? Oh, what? Uh-oh, you talking about these sneakers? <laughs> these sneakers? The sneakers of the weekend? Well, you got them on your feet? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did, though. Okay, hopefully we can uh, get that up. Uh, no, I just want to say salute Willis the Barber. Salute, so salute, brother. Congratulations, First barber dude. that we know Congratulations, that sponsored bro. and have his own sneaker. Woo, big I time, I mean, King man. Midas, probably the first that I see do it, they came out with a sneaker. Yes, yes. King it, Midas. Yes. But it's, it's just their own brand, Yep. and they continue to grow. Yep. Willis got a deal with Fila. Fila's, those are nice sneakers, guys. And it's his own signature sneaker. I mean, well connected is written on the box. That's right. Mm -hmm. It has the logo. There it is. It has the Oof. logo. Got the WC on the Let's back. Let's see. About, yeah. about to bring it up right here again. 
Sin salute to Willis the Barber, That's man. It. That's beautiful. Feli, really. he has his own <laughs> signature sneaker. I, I feel like him coming to America. That's when it. I'm, when he, I'm telling you, he has his own money. He has his, <laughs> his own, own money. money. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, he has his own sneaker. He has his own signature man. sneaker right there. We like to sis salute Willis the Barbo, well connected. He was on stage with Jay Majors. Absolutely. And also seen Jay Flano there from Chicago. Uh, it's always great to see their Major League uh, Major League Barbers and uh, Barber Love. And it's, I always say that with Major League Barbers, you know they have a whole book of oh, yeah. like Barber Love, Barber Life. Yeah. yeah. Have thing. a great Barber Day. I was like, oh, I'm going to catch a great, be safe on that Barber flight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, That's I'm it, taking man. this ball That's flight. That's Let's it. Salute, uh to them. I, I, if I didn't get to see anybody at the expo yesterday, Apologize if I seen you and walk by. I apologize too, but you know, you know. Yeah, how can it gets. I say that too? Yeah, I just want to say that as well. Go I, ahead. Because you know, I, I feel like that happens a lot. So yes. you know, we, we we see each other on people on IG. We see people on Facebook and all this stuff, and we get into these. We're we're at the show. We're kind of like you. I was spectating yesterday, so my, my my eyes were everywhere, and I had some people almost pass me by, and I barely caught them, and I said hello. But I know there was plenty probably out there that hopefully you don't think I'm, you know. Any certain way, if I pass you by, please don't, because I'm not like that. I apologize, but maybe my mind was not focused on you. But uh, man, please uh, see me at the next show. Stop me if you if you're gonna do that. But yeah, definitely to everybody out there. Congratulations. Okay, so Sharice, there we go. Sharice is watching from Atlanta, Georgia. She just wrote "dope" with the fire. She has fire flame. Okay, and if you're watching right now and you're wondering what Gus has d did. I believe that is either a, t that's a two skin fade or three. Gus, that's a three or a two. It's a three skin fade. And right now he's using a razor to put some detail. And if your hairstylist wondering how to use the razor, his left thumb is pulling away, pulling the skin. And now you use the razor to shave away from the thumb that's pulling. So, as you see right there, three skin fade, very common out here in New York. Yeah, it is. And you can, it's one of them fades where either way, it's going to be good. You can fade up from the bottom guideline up, or you can fade down, which I favor. I favor cutting rid of the bulk and coming down to the skin. I just so happen to be one of the barbers I was taught that way. And you can tell Gus, I always say this on the show, you can tell Gus is definitely in it because he keeps the comb in his hand, yeah. even when he's doing the razor. <laughs> That's true. I didn't even notice that. I noticed that because a lot of times people, you know, they're learning how to cut hair if you're teaching them or whatever. They're quick to drop that comb. And it's just like that comb has to really stay in your hand, whether you're moving hair out of the, off the canvas mm -hmm. or you just got to move the canvas around. As you know, in New York State, fade brushes are illegal, but hey, I use them mm. too. I use them. Mm. Don't get upset with me. When they come in there with sweaty head, it's the only thing that's going to work to get that hair out of the way. I plead no contest, but I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, come and get me. <laughs> I got it. No, bro. I'm, I feel you, man. It's really hard when they are sweaty, man. Those hot summer days, you get hair off the head like that. Who was that? Did I just see a top hat? Is that what? Harry, did we what? just call did, him? That just happened. Did we just call for Harry and this he just magically, literally magically appeared? appeared? Did he just magically? Oh, oh, hey. Hey. How do you do that? Yeah, that's, a, <laughs> that's, a, that's a tight it's lead. Come over here, man. We'll get mic'd up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, never mind. Yeah, we'll we'll get around, get mic'd up, and then come back. And and duck because we can see the top hat. <laughs> we like to salute Julian Santiago who's watching. Oh, New York better not ever come to Florida with those haircuts. Oh, oh. Julian. Trolling. Don't troll Julian, but listen, bro, if you want to come up here to New York. Yeah, Julian, right come now. up to New York, right? Yeah. There's no problem with you taking Come up to New up York, and you can showcase on the Scissor Salute stage, yeah. bro. I mean, unless you're on here just, you know. That's true. Hitting us with the negativity. It's okay. Yeah. You could throw the light. You could throw it. You could throw the shade. <laughs> 
Listen. But Julian, if you would like to come down to the uh, sis, he doesn't have a beard. I don't know why you're talking about a beard. He did a goatee. I don't know if, <laughs> if you ever like to come down to the sis That's right. show. That's right. You can email us, scissorsalute at yahoo.com. Leave your contact information. You could come down here. Okay, so Antoine seen the top hat. He seen that too. Antoine. Yeah, right? <laughs> he, left he saw comment. it real quick. He saw it real quick in the corner. Yes. He tried to sneak by there too. Yeah, he did. And so that's it. I got the got the wish. I asked Seth, Seth you got to step to the side right there. You up on the screen. It's not on. But I, <laughs> I asked for Houdini and Jesse to be here and at the same time. Now we're about to hear some great English because these guys are very well spoken. And we also get to see how we want for Harry Houdini educating uh, at the Babylon thing. And he got the golden nuggets too. Golden nuggets, man. But there's golden nuggets, there's rose nuggets too. That's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like those rose ones too. There's rose, like everyone had like their own, like what were they repping? Like That's I know right. Al had the golden one, yep. rose gold. He or likes something. the rose gold. I think he likes the rose gold. He said that. Was Al uppercut there yesterday? I didn't see him, man. I didn't see him. I wanted to get my beard done. I didn't get my beard done. I think that's what it was. I want that blow dried my beard out to get it sculpted, <laughs> and I wasn't even to get it able to get it done. Have you had a chance to get that done yet? What? The you know when he does the sculpting and stuff. Oh, like I've done. I've been a model for uh -huh. Al like uh, three times. Have you, oh, I take full advantage I, of knowing him. I I don't rock beards, but when I see him do a beard, that's the one time I want a beard. Okay, so Harry Houdini's gonna come in, and we need to be a little bit tighter. So Dante, if you could just move over. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. Go on that side over there. You just stand up. Yeah. Go on that side. All right. Come right here. Go ahead. Okay, so Julian, who was just talking, right? In the room. Don't. Yeah, salute yeah. Julian. <laughs> Sarah just said, hey, why don't you come down to the Tampa Bay Hair Jam since you're in Florida? And see if you got what it takes. Julian, let's That's pretty good, see right? You at Tampa. Oh, I like that. I like that. The challenge is there, Julian. The challenge you is want, there you, now. You were throwing it out. So many challenge you, brother. So here we are like with that. Harry Houdini. I love, I good. love the That's blazer, good. man. This is it, this is it man. A little custom is cool. How did you both do? Because I've seen people walking around, again, females this. with the pink barber. Tell I like it. The, the pink barber. Uh, this guy got all the tools. Those are the Andes lithium joints right now this guy got like all the tools right there how's the show for you man so good it was great man i'll be honest with you i had a great time i mean really as far as booth sales i did really well probably the best i've ever done um i you know attribute a lot of that because uh, i do kind of focus a little bit more on the female styles yeah yeah so i feel like this year in particular has been a year that female barbers are just getting in there right yeah they're really really embracing barbering um so i saw i saw the numbers definitely nice. yesterday at the ct barber expo mm -hmm. yes yeah, so it's, it's, i've seen a lot of people at the booths and you know usually sometimes you see people at the booth and they give you that <laughs> type of look i didn't even get that i didn't even get a hello it was a head nod or a scissor salute from far yeah. head nod and they just went right back to i'm like oh wow I've been, I've been, you're really I, moving it right yep. there so that's tough. good. It was I'm, good. I mean, I, yeah. I I missed a lot of people, you know, just the fact yeah. that I was so busy. Yeah. You was at the booth. You was at I your was booth. I was there. Yeah, I was there, and I literally could not leave that thing. You so know, you I did. you've had a, you've had a booth on and off for a while at different places. Yeah. So how do you feel? We were talking about this earlier. How we felt about this particular expo versus some of the last ones. How do you feel Jay did with this setup and everything? Uh, I think I mean, I was very impressed. Yeah, I like. This I one. really was very impressed. Um, I really loved the energy. Yeah. I thought it was very very good. Uh, I I felt that this expo by far was one of the best I've ever been to, yeah. ever. Yeah. I'm gonna say it was the best CT Barber Expo. I'm gonna say it's the best show mm -hmm. because it was ran good. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Everybody but, was moving there. Yep. I also got to meet Fit and Fifty Something, okay. one of the barbers I first barbers I've ever even followed on IG. Uh, a barber out of Cleveland. He also does physique competing. Uh, physique competes uh, as a competitor. And it was uh, great to see him. Yep. And, you know, he's just walking. I come up to him, and he's just like, well, you know, you'll think, recognize him, but it's not even nothing like that. Again, I look at everybody as out-of-state co-workers, yeah, no, especially awesome. when I'm at an event like so. Yeah, I have to Old be. Barber Love, I mean, it was Definitely. just a great And the right? you know what it is, too? When you check how it was, and you see the layout, even the food cafe 
was done right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Down to that. Let's answer that phone call. Hello, you're live on the air with the Sis Salute Show. Sis Salute. Sis Salute, who's this? Stage. Paul Jones, baby. Paul Jones, what's going on? <laughs> it's always great one when we talk to Paul Jones. Paul Jones, you were there yesterday? Of course. Man, man, I miss him too. You see what I'm saying? I was with him. I didn't even get wait. to see you. Oh, man. yeah, that's, 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 that's right. That's, that's right, okay. I didn't even get to see you, bro. I'm always. Yes, I know you're everywhere, but I didn't get to see you. Yeah. I told you I was going to give you a yellow shirt for security. Yeah, that shirt waiting for you. What happened? Shirt shirt. They get. I see the ODB shirt right there. Oh yeah, the, uh, you already right know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, cool. that's classic yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. yeah. I always wondered how you put that welfare on your <laughs> album. You put the welfare. welfare he got in card trouble for that album. too, huh? He got in trouble for that. I, yeah, I would imagine Yo, so. He's got in trouble for a lot. <laughs> I would imagine yeah, so. When, when he when MTV was with him and he was taking limos and going into the store and using welfare money. Cash food stamps. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, my God. That was stamps, yeah. So, Paul, what was your take on the ex yesterday's expo? Um, I'm going to tell you, like, it's, I, you know, I always love Jay Major's show. He, man, he's a great businessman. He know how to put the butts in the seats, and that's the hardest part of this whole thing. A lot of shows can't get them people to show up. Yeah, say that again one more time. You know how to get those butts in the seats. That means to fill up an education class. He can sell it out. Yeah. He can sell out a studio. He can sell out a concert for real. And guys, that man's a great businessman. All right, and I just got a, an estimate as far as uh, the attendees yesterday. Was about, oh, did you get it? About eight thousand. Um, eight thousand 8, 8, people? people. That's a lot of people, man. Wow. And, and, and here goes the thing with the educational class. The educational class was sold out like a month and a half ago. Right. Yeah, because I was trying to get in and I couldn't even, I couldn't even get in. Uh, that was crazy. Yeah, the one uh, that uh, that that uh, Patty Cuts taught was 800, 800 people. Wow. Yeah, eight hundred. Yeah, I, man, Patty, my man too. I like Patty. I met Patty before he even got big as he is. Man, he's a good guy. Yeah, great guy. Yeah. No, so it was, it was, it was definitely. Yeah, and Patty Cuts is, uh, he's out of uh, Florida. He's also well, not from Philly. From Philly, from but Philly. he's Originally moved to Philly. Florida. From Philly, but Originally he moved from to Philly. Florida. Yeah. Moved to Florida. I also had a chance to see Patty Cuts in Florida last uh, two years ago at the Clipper Relay. I got a yeah. uh, mm -hmm. chance to run into Patty Cuts. He's dope, man. A dope barber. Real dope yeah. barber. And very humble. Very humble. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Right. Ready to build with you. Ready to talk with you. And that's a great thing about our profession. When you uh, run into people that are eager to help others. Absolutely. So that's always a, a, a plus. Definitely. This is yes. Patty. Yes. Patty. What, what, hey, hurry, man. What's up with my clippers? I ain't getting no clippers. Oh, the, well, you looking Come for those, on, man. Yeah, you you have have to be in line. Me line. I mean, you have to be in line for those, man. But how did that go with the gold nuggets, how we handed them out? Because he was just saying, so what, you pay for a VIP ticket, then he only chose a few? Um, from what I heard, it was only, I don't think it was had anything to do with the pre-party. It had nothing to do with that, that pre-party. That's what I think people thought. People yeah, was no, it didn't. For the ones that really wanted that clipper, they had to line up and get there early. It was only 240 yeah, units. I missed, it. I missed the whole thing. Only 240 clippers were uh, being, you know, being sold, and they sold 240 clippers in 40 minutes. Done. So. Uh, it was people outside selling for five hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, they're, they're on eBay right now for four fifty. Yep, I'm telling you. Mine man. will be on there tonight for seven hundred, guys. Just Damn. You know. <laughs> Number twelve it's in the lineup, guys. Number twelve in the lineup. Just letting you know. <laughs> That's crazy. I need a new car, guys. So we're really excited about that. You know, I just actually came from the uh, from the corporation. So, but uh, but it's really it's it's crazy how you know they sold so quickly. I was actually amazed to see the lines. I mean, really, just that line alone was amazing. Crazy, but yeah. you know. I mean, did, uh, did anybody make it to the party? I missed the party I myself. The, I did go yes. to the pre-party. Yeah, the pre-party. Pre yes, yes, sir. Yep. We didn't see each other? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I don't know how that happened. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe I did. I just, yeah, that was a pre-party. That was a little bit different. That was a little different. That That's was actually a pretty fun too. event. Um, oh, they had a guy on the violin uh, all night uh, just uh, playing with the music. They had the DJ I there. I mean, the collaboration oh. amongst barbers and stylists that Ooh. were there was just great, too. It was. To see people from all over, from yeah. California. I mean, you had people from Brazil. Yeah, I mean, it was just amazing. Yeah. Etu, Etu, I think you, uh, Etu, you said that too. You were, you were talking about how this this event was different because you got to see so many barbers and stylists like collaborating, getting together, getting to know each other. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it, it is. It is. It's it different, is. a little bit different than from back home. 
Yeah. Yeah. Me, so. so I think I think that's what you were saying. You know that 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 pre party was just was something else. So it was a party. We had a good time, but man, it was. It was definitely networking to the fullest. It was good, yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, you know... Jay uh, Bates is the truth with that, man. He can, he can definitely fill a place. No, absolutely. Definitely. Uh, Scissor salute to Jay Majors. He did a great job this year, absolutely. Yeah. Looking forward to the next one next year. And he had his little man on stage with the custom uh, barber jacket. Yeah, that was... The, was that Gucci? I don't know, man, but it was... Uh... <laughs> that's, that's, that's his... Uh, that's his, that's his thing. The Gucci's his thing. My money thing. game up. I ain't... I ain't gonna have no Gucci. I got a Russell Jones. You know what I mean? Russell Jones. Yeah. Gotta give me a Gucci cape or something. Yeah, so so what's going on in your life, man? We I missed you yesterday, so other than the other than the expo, what's going on? What's the barber game looking like? To me? Yeah. Just hit oh, man. I'm right now... Uh, I'm for those of you that don't uh, know who you to, are, I, I, I've seen you before. Uh, competition together. I'm sorry. No, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? You talking to me? Or yeah, no, I'm talking to you. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with uh, a group. We're trying to put something together. I kind of got to put it like a... Uh, I can't tell you all the details. No, no. But it's going to be real dope. Um, Everybody's going to love it. Okay. We Hopefully, we can get Scissor Salute, you know, to play... What we gonna do? I mean, it's gonna be crazy. I wish I can get into details. Well, let us know how we can help out, man. You know how that goes. Yeah, yeah man. I love to salute. You know, they gave me my start. Well, sorry, guys. I had to be that uh, that uh, you know, that one father who gets up. I did tell. <laughs> I did too, bro. And goes and tells the I barber did. how to cut I cut the too. son's hair. <laughs> yeah, I had to be that annoying guy right now. <laughs> Watch it right here on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be at that show um, this weekend with my man Dante Financial. I know I like his listening to them talk. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. uh, what's what's the uh, show? Washington, Washington is that right? The DC? The DC? Yes, the DC. Yeah, DC. Um, it's a seminar. DT, for DC. DC, DC seminar. seminar. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of sponsors there. Great, great, and it's so yeah. it's that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. It's great to see that you know that our profession is willing to hear what Dante has to say because a lot of people in the profession do not think about the future and security stability with your family. Right. And at the same time, medical coverage. It's just uh, it's just amazing that everyone's willing to do it now. Look at my little man in the chair right there. He just got his braces. I mean, literally right before the show. So, Paul Jones, I mean, yeah. with a, with a show like yesterday and now you have the seminar coming up this week i mean you have seen to be very busy traveling oh man that was crazy i mean what's coming you know, up was the, at, what's coming I up, mean, up? At the, uh the tank fight adrian broner i left there went straight to connecticut try to make the after party i couldn't make it but um you know i caught up with a couple guys at a, uh you know a low, low, local low-key uh, event oh you were and at then, the fight um, you know, then we went to the front row, like Fred battle. Lucas. I didn't make education; it was too packed. I couldn't get in there, so I just hung out. A couple people outside. We was talking. You know, you know how I do. I always network. Oh, uh, Paul, you was at the actual fight, the Barclays Center. Yeah, of course. Did you of see course. my show's yeah, classic? My on the hey, jump? listen. Anytime Baltimore in the building, I'm there. Did you see my show's <laughs> classic on the jumbotron? <laughs> yeah, I seen. I was down there with them. I was on that floor with them, so I was in. Oh, okay. I was at like I was at the front row, like at the gate. So, you know, I, I walked past them. Um, they was kind of busy cutting hair, but you know, I was I was front row everybody. on my couch. I was, yeah. front, I was front row on my couch at at a, at a spot called <laughs> the porch. Everybody, that's like, what? It's like the hot spot. It's the new hot spot. But it's it was it was a great it was a great, a great card. It was a great card. Adrian Bronner. A lot of people didn't think that. Uh, that a lot of people were counting him out. Uh, fun little fun fact with Adrian Browner, he's been put down twice, but he's never been knocked out. And right. uh, for everyone that was uh, watching that, that, that um, Jesse Vargas took the fight seven weeks out, and then they had the catch weight at 144. So I think Adrian Browner at this, uh, if he fights Jesse Vargas one more time, if I was Adrian Browner, I'm going to come down to 140 where his power is more effective at That's 140. And I think we're going to see a different fight. He's going to put that dude out. Hey, look! It was a it was a rough it was a rough fight for both of them. Yeah, he uh, just, know, Adrian um, Brown just he he Bronner did a lot of defense though. He was bleeding bad. Yeah, Adrian Brown is a lot of defense, and you know he needs to 
they were telling him you need to throw more punches. You got to be right. more he busy. Can't, you can't win on a pop shot. You know, I know you're a fitness man, and I'm, you know, I'm a boxer, martial arts type dude. So we know how to fight, and that pop shot does not work. Even if you're gonna do defense, if you see Floyd, Floyd would throw a lot of hits. He'd throw double combos. He'd throw a lot of uppercuts. They might not be powerful, but he's connecting and getting points at all possible times. And Charlo. Adrian Broke just want to keep throwing pop shots. Boom, and, boom, boom, boom. And, that uh, don't work. That wind up pop ain't going to work every time. You're going to have to knock people out with that. And uh, Charlo, one of the, the Charlo twins boxed, and uh, he knocked the dude out in the second round. Yeah, that was crazy. The crazy, crazy. thing is, oh. if you don't know what the Charlo twin is, last time he fought, he came back and knocked the dude out, I believe, in the eighth round of the fight. A bit. Uh, Went out to the 4040 club that night and got everything robbed. True. I mean, hey, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, he did. And, you know, a lot of people are like, man, I thought this was a barber show, man, a hair show. If this is the type of talk and discussions mm -hmm. in barber shops across the globe where you're either talking about real a sporting talk, event. Real barber talk. Yeah, real barber talk. We really, at the establishment that I work at, we really try to stay away from politics and we really try to stay away from religion because those are like touchy That's subjects. That's more rules right there, actually. Yeah, and okay, so now. I'm supposed to talk to even one of them in the barbershop, but you know how the barbershop go. Yo, no and now if, if you're watching right now and you're wondering what tools he's using, Gus did the first haircut with the wall cordless seniors. He also came in there with the Andis new cordless and the lithium Andis. Right now in his hand, he's holding the wall's magic clip that come with a... One of my favorites right there. Come with it, yep. Then it come with the surgical blade, easy as zero gap. Again, he's using the gloves because it's the best way to keep it sanitary and avoid them hair splinters. Mm -hmm. And on his hair, he's using, I just got them at the CT Barber Expo yesterday to keep the hair up. I just got those type of things. I think I got mine uh, for motive. I got them uh, for motive right there. And uh, this is to the whole Arizona, right? That's uh, Merlo, Louis Merlo. Lou hey. Merlo, and he's from Arizona, correct? Oh, now he's from LA. So, Paul, what's going on? In the, <laughs> Paul, what's going on in the future, man? Let let us know something before we let you go. I mean, give us events that you're gonna be attending and how people can get in contact with you. All right. Well, you know, Paul Jones, twelve twenty-eight. Um, a lot of people don't recognize me without my glasses and without my suit on. So, at the expo, I think a lot of people ain't know who I was, but it's cool. Um, but I'm I am doing the show in Dallas. Um, Miss Exclusive show, that's going to be the June 23rd through the 25th. Um, I'm going to be there. Um, I'm doing a show in Vegas in September uh, with uh, Jay, which is Floyd Mayweather's barber. I'm going to be down there. Oh, what, Iced Out? Yes, of course. That's my girl. I love her. That's my baby. Yeah. She's uh, um, really down to earth. Yes, yes. Super down to earth. I had a good time with her yesterday. We tripped out. Um, I don't know, man. I'm open. I mean, anybody who needs me to come through, you already know I'm known for judging, battling, whatever you need me to do, just let me know. I'm there. All right. Well, thank you so much, Paul Jones, for calling into the Sis Lou Show. Sis Lou, brother. And uh, anytime you're in New York, we'd like to have you come down here to the studio, sit down, chop it up. I mean, I was going to be there today, but... I had to make a move, but I, I'm going to be in the area very, very soon. All right, well, thank you so much for calling in, Paul. Keep moving, baby. Yeah, Paul. Sis, Thanks, man. Salute. Sis, salute. <coughs> All right, Harry. Take it away. <coughs> All right. Uh, yo, are they going to pan to us? Or? Yeah, they're going to pan to you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I like, waste, my, uh, waste my time talking. Know, what what are we going to do here? <laughs> you had an announcement? What's up? No, I just, yeah, I did have an announcement, actually. All right, so let's get to I it, man. An yeah, That's funny. big announcement coming. <laughs> it's actually pretty big. The building. Uh, and first of all, I want to salute uh, Sephro for actually uh, creating awareness for this because without um, him sending me this uh, notice, I wouldn't have entered the license to create awards with the Cosmo Prof license to create. Oh. <clears throat> so I I, uh, oh. I entered. I just entered um, a few weeks back, and I've been nominated as far as uh, top ten uh, for beard grooming. So I, I, I'm in there for the top 10, wow. alongside say, Andy Authentic. So it's going to be us battling it out. Man. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but, you know, I'm happy to, to say that, you know, I've been nominated for the top 10 in the country. 
And, Congratulations. Uh, salute. Salute, 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 salute to that. Salute, salute, salute to, that. to that. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to need some votes out there, too. So you can go on to, uh, you can log on to Cosmoprof Beauty. <laughs> but listen, man. Every, Ain't nothing, every, nothing wrong with that. Every little bit is going to help, especially going, you know, going, uh, uh, competing with a monster like Andy, you know, who has such a big uh, 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 Instagram following. So um, the way you can vote is actually you go on to um, Cosmo Prof Beauty and uh, you can vote once a day. You, you'll see my, my work there um, under Houdini style. I and, think uh, both of you guys, though, are talented in your own ways. He has a lot of following or whatever your marketing strategies is great too though so but again share how they can uh, see it yeah no it's two different it's two different styles which i was looking at mine's more of a classic type of style and mm -hmm. his is more like you know a, a, he got that aggressive it's the it's the modern. one that you posted a few weeks ago where you were like you know what that is an amazing photo with the beard, oh with the part with the beard with the part in the Side beard part you know? in the beard. Yeah. he actually did that haircut yesterday at the expo he did no? it yesterday yeah that's awesome i did see uh i did see somebody walking around so i knew it was his work right away but uh, but you know, uh, says a salute to Andy. He's helped definitely helped uh, propel me in this industry of, uh, of barbering. And, uh, and he's on. He's a fabulous. And he's a, yep. He's a he's a fabulous pro artist. So you know, what I mean, it's it's he's he's taught me a couple of uh, things that have helped me in my uh, career. So I'm really happy. The other nice. company. <laughs> Why? Yeah. You guys fumbled. Yeah. Messed it up, man. Yeah, you, oh yeah. my! It's too late now. Too late, late now. Riding so you lost the good for guy. you guys. Yeah. 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 That was a big loss. Mm, what did Absolutely. you do? So, um, in fact, I believe uh, tonight he will be on uh, Facebook Live uh, with uh, Modern Salon. Um, so Andy? he's, he's going to be live yes tonight. In fact, he's that. and he's also a fellow we, Maestro's we, class. We don't want to take any Marvel's viewers well. away from the <coughs> Salute Show, but you know. Nah, well, he's going to be. You know, it's, you can check it out after the program. <coughs> go back on. <laughs> so salute to Andy right there. Is also Maestro's nice. classic. Uh, Congratulations, uh, Barbara as well and owner of the Fresh Factory over there in Bristol, Connecticut. Connecticut yeah. yep. So, salute to him and his whole team. I got to run into Mr. Lowe, who again is my pick for uh, Barber 2018 to watch. <laughs> nice. Uh, someone that, when he first came out to the Sis Salute show, I, thought, I, think he believed, I think he had like 700 followers. Who's this? Mr. Lowe. Mr. Oh, Mr. Lowe, okay. I think he had 700 followers when he first came on the show. Look at him now. You go onto his page now. He's up to like eight thousand, and it's increasing, increasing because he's posted up on Barbershop Connect almost every week. Yeah, that's the key, really, to get reposted. I, I noticed that's where I get my huge like jumps, propulsion. Yeah, yeah, it's just like extreme, you know. Well, we had Rondo the Barber, who got reposted on Barbershop Connect. I think it was about three years ago when he picked up 3,000 followers <sighs> off of being reposted on Barbershop and it, Connect. And you know what? I think it also depends when they repost you as well. I was well. just about to say you that. that because I literally I've been just about to say that. Yep. I've been reposted at times where it's like on a Sunday early in the morning. I'm like, okay, I pick up maybe 25. You know what I mean? So it's, it really depends. It's funny. I think, yeah, you, you're right. But was also yes. we take off, was it, was it uh, Wizzy the Barber? Wizzy the Barber has this like, thing that he always does. Yeah, I just saw him too. You wake night. up in the so morning, you're going to see Wizzy yeah. post. Yeah. Even with the new algo algorithm that IG has right mm -hmm. now, the new layout that they have, you still see Wizzy in the morning. Nice. In the afternoon, you're going to see Wizzy. And then in the night, night you're going to see He's Wizzy. And I don't know, does he wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning to post for people on the other side of the planet? Well, All I know is that Wizzy probably posts, I think, like five, six times a day, but he does it in... Well, you know, there's a business page Sometimes. now you can do on Instagram, and it shows you when your when your followers are on. So it'll give you a graph and yep. show you like when's the best time to post. So I guess he's posting for yeah, the best, best time for his yes. following. Instagram following. Yep. Yeah, and it's easy. You can make it a business page, but I do warn you, you got to make like a Facebook fan page. That's it. When you do that, so make a Facebook fan page. Mm -hmm. I do know a couple of people who attached it onto their Facebook. Instagram said no, 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 and took their page down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about 50,000, 60,000 followers. And it was like a trend. You've seen um, a couple other barbers. I, I'm not going to mention their names, but a couple other barbers that were losing and had to start all over. And yeah. I'm just like, what? This guy had like 110,000 followers. So you have yeah. to be somewhat yeah. careful when you're doing that. Make sure you make a Facebook the, fan page yeah. when you're making a business page for Instagram. That's, 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 what, that's, why, that's why that happened. Because Facebook saw that they were, they were using their personal thing as a business. And they didn't want that. Yep. So, that's what ha so you have to be business about how you do that. Yeah, so, so definitely 
That's a little a little fun fact right yeah. there. If we could go back to the haircut, we're about to do some musical chairs over here. So let's get back to that showcase right there. Look at that young Spartan sitting in the chair right there. <laughs> to be playing a flag football game this Thursday. Hopefully we can get them yeah, hands to open up. Yeah, he got good. He got he got the knack for it, buddy. Got it going <coughs> on. And what I mean, this guy Gus is branded. I believe he's got the uppercuts tattooed on the forearm, so you can see that all times. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So, and as in regards to the thing with the loot, we should do, we should, we should do it. All right. Once again, you're watching the Sin Salute Show. This show is for barbers, hairstylists, makeup artists. And we are here to unify them. We use the Sin Salute Show to actually make that happen every Monday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We give the opportunity for the visual artists to showcase their skills live on the Sin Salute stage while also conducting interviews and taking phone calls as well. If you would like to come down here and showcase, advertise with us, or book us for your next event, you can email us. Scissor salute at yahoo.com. Leave all contact information. And we'll get back to you in the order that the emails received. Once again, this is a live show. Sometimes we mess up. But again, it's live. It's live. Don't get at me. So let's get back here. We have Lifestyle Trail. Lifestyle Trail. Trail, where you, where you coming from? Coming from Jersey, boss. Jersey. 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 Nice. Jersey. And uh, um, you, you do hair? Is it hair, barber? Yeah, like yeah right. pretty much a mix, man. Um, school trained me to pretty much be diverse. So women's cuts, color, men's cuts, scissor cuts, urban, whatever, like designs, anything. Really just diverse skill set, really. And you was at the event yesterday? You yeah, I was the out there at what CT. Was, what was your uh, take on the CT Barber Expo? Um, nah, it was dope, to be honest with you, boss. Um, I always heard about it a lot, like when I was in barber school. So this is your first one? Yeah, it's my first oh, one. Oh, okay, so nice, Duffy nice. was a good impression. So shout out to, to uh, Jay for that. Like, definitely a good first impression because it lived up to expectations. Definitely. And, you know, it, it's not going to take away from other events that you're going to go to, but definitely don't expect <laughs> what you seen yesterday yesterday was something that's been put together <coughs> eight years <coughs> and it's not that it was his first time getting it right because all the other ones were good it just seemed everything flowed yeah. the yeah. way the the, yeah. the design was laid out it was able to walk easier it was able to find stuff yeah, and again the cafe was in the perfect spot <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it, it comes down to even the food happened to be <laughs> even the food was done the right thing so um what did you take on uh here in the sis loose show you uh, plan on coming back here maybe showcasing for us yeah definitely definitely i know um definitely gotta bring my brother that's like one of my biggest supporters he nice. at the one of the craziest ways probably in the country to be honest yeah to gas it but i mean his ways is really really crazy got a lot of love when i went down to the bonnet brothers um show showcase there i had like this little green tint on it put a little color collab on it with one of my friends that actually do my hair so is that is that haircut on your ig yeah it's actually on my okay. ig page right, nice nice yeah but um definitely gonna bring him up here to showcase next time i come up and when you and when did you finish barber school um september 2016. okay so what has been the biggest transition that you've seen from being in the barber school and then coming to the trenches? The whole, the whole nah, really. The whole, <laughs> everything. Nah, everything, yeah, the whole, the whole industry, the whole game itself, everything changed, like everything. I definitely believe, I mean, and since so to all the barber schools out there and instructors, uh, one thing, a gem that Justo, the hair assassin who was an instructor over there at BOSI said, He's just talking to one of the students. He says, you see, you, your students, you got it easy. You got one person that you have to deal with. Mm. If you elect to deal with the mm. rest of the students, that is by choice. I, on the other hand, have 10 personalities mm -hmm. that I have to deal with. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, man, oh, man. Let's go. Oh, Harry's out. Sis, Lou Harry, thank right, you brother. so much for stopping Thanks by. Thanks for coming by, man. So I was like, man, that was, that was a, a, a pretty good one right there. Yeah. But what it's I mean true. by being in the trenches, the schools are not going to teach when you have the nah, one mom no. hovering over you. Yeah. You got the kid in the freaking, in, in, in a booster chair, yeah. and then you're putting a guideline in, and the, and the mom is on some, you going to fade that out? Right. 
That right there, that line, you gonna figure mm -hmm. that out? Yeah. You gonna edge him up, right? Mm -hmm. You gonna hit him with the edge? And walk you through the whole haircut. I'm like, I swear. what? I'm just dope with that whole shot of you, matter of fact. He's like, man, were you that? No, I just, <laughs> I just know how it is. Yep. I just mm -hmm. know how it is. I mean, I'm cutting some guy's hair sometimes. You have their girlfriend walk and be like, you still in the chair? Mm -hmm. Oh, what the? Mm -hmm. You still in it? We gotta go. I'm, like, I'm looking at him like, my, yeah. my man. Yeah. My man. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, do you use an app currently? Are you using an yeah, app? I actually do. I actually use on um, the cut, matter of fact. Ah, the cut. We Ooh. ran into you yesterday, too. This is not playing either. Cut. No. You watch it. No. We ran into the cut, and it just so happened Justo uses the cut the app. Bet. Nice. So if you're looking for an app, an appointment app, make sure you check out the cut app. It's free on IG. I mean, it's free on Apple and Google search. You just go up there. They'll take it from, the, take it, uh, from there. The Cut app on Instagram. Make sure you follow them and like their pictures. So, tell us about the the Cut app. They're setting it up for you. You're waking up. You're checking out, and everything's listed. Yeah, everything is pretty much straightforward. Um, like scheduling. I mean, you put the availability of whatever your work schedule schedule is. Um, the actual services that you offer. You can actually go into like super detail in the description of what you exactly do. So that way, you know, I mean, clients get confused all the time between. Well, I ain't know, you know what I mean? I just wanted a haircut or some joke is like, oh, I ain't know you got to include the bed. But like I said, you can list detail for detail what you want okay. so to make sure they pick the right service for you. It's real quick and easy as soon as they confirm the appointment. I mean, as soon as they uh, like to choose a service, you confirm the appointment, they, they see the notification. After that, all you got to do is just expect them to show up at whatever given time that they set the appointment up. So, are you in the shop? No, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go so, ahead. Are you in the shop? Yeah. Or are you freelance? Yeah, no, I'm in the shop. What shop do you work? So Clippers Barber Shop is on. Um, well, there's actually three different locations. I work in the one in Linden. There's two other locations out in Elizabeth, owned by um, Danny and Moore. Success Addict. Success Addict. Um, nice. Representing for Eddie. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yes. you, man. Yes. 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 That's a good mentor right there, man. Yeah. Success yeah. Addict. Absolutely, Absolutely man. Who's actually there uh, with Gibbs Grooming and yep. Pedro? And uh, yeah, yeah, Pedro too. Pedro Covick Ross. Yes. Yes. Oh, whoa. You did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good. I always see again, man. I was walking the beat. I was walking the beat yesterday. I missed a lot oh, too. You man. the beach. You started off. You saw me, you gave me a hug. I seen you for fifteen minutes. I ain't see you for about five hours. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. That. I was I, I I walked the beat again, just though it was his first time being at the C T Barber Expo. I like to help out as that's much right. as possible. <clears throat> yep. Sometimes people are timid and and if I'm around you and <clears throat> we're walking the beat with each other, I'm not gonna be on some old oh, hold up, Jesse. Yeah. Let me talk to this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no. I'm not yeah. like that. Really? And I, I, I had it done to me when I first came into the uh, going to com competitions. Mm -hmm. And in my head, I was like, yo, no matter what, I won't do that. I won't be yeah. on some old, yo, yeah. yo, Jesse, yeah. you know, take this picture yeah. of us. And then leave him Unless the yeah. person is asking for a picture with me specifically, I might say, Jesse, take this picture. Yeah. Now I might ask a and it's, uh, uh, bystander, you know, yeah, bystander yeah, yeah. be like, yo, yeah. let's take a group picture. Yeah. You know, because I don't want to do that. So again, I was bringing Justo around, yeah. introducing him to people. Just like if Doing you know, the right way. you know, I I didn't get a chance to run into you, but if you would have been like, yo, I'm on a show tomorrow, and I would have been like, yo, anybody you need to meet, let me know. Mm -hmm. But again, when you have you're working for a success addict, I'm pretty sure you know what time it is, and he's a leading educator in the profession, gotcha. and a well-respected educator. And one of the things about him, you ever seen him at the Exotics joints? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy, get a lit. Got, I was got, at the Exotics uh, in New Jersey a couple years back. Mm -hmm. this, this is not a, you know, I think every every educator has their own different style. But if you guys have not seen Success Addict, Danny and Morham in person, you got to go see him, man. Bob his call last year. His Ooh. energy is out, his yeah. out the roof. When he was at those shows, and he's like that. He's, he's the, high energy all the time, but at the shows, it's crazy. the funny thing is... He likes, I think he likes them comic things like Hulk Smash. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah so he, does. You got, he does. So you got he Success does. Addict is yeah. like his super thing, like his street thing, whatever. Then you have the Danny thing is yep. like, you yep. know, he's cleaned up after yes. when he's went on an Andes yep. platform. Yep. But, you know, yeah, since Lute, since yeah. Lute's a Success Addict, I actually wear his shirt all the time to the gym. I just don't know if people are like, are you on a juice bar? I'm like, no, it's a barber pole <laughs> inside a syringe. Like to be no, like that's true. an addict. That's true. Okay, I'm not. No. But. That's funny, So, man. what do you feel like, 
you're gonna uh what you want to take out of this you know ct barber expo just went to yesterday so you got to see uh the different brands that are available and the different mm -hmm. ways you can go about it what is your take and wh what did you take from yesterday where do you see yourself going honestly it's like it's like it's wide open really it's like just whatever opportunity is is really there to take because i mean different companies you just gotta i feel like you gotta see and suit what's, what's best fit for you like a lot of time I feel like a lot of like especially new barbers coming out of school or they're trying to get themselves pretty much in it like that tap in the industry they try to do maybe like a little bit too much by trying to chase like the, the actual companies not mm. understanding that you gotta kind of sit back like get to know yourself as a barber and just really choose like that organically because wise once, words yeah like cause once you choose the company organically it's like things are like kind of flow a little bit better you'll see that you don't have to try to do too much it'll just come natural right to you so what I school mean, did you go to, to uh, paul mitchell paul mitchell yeah okay so that's what you're talking about not only about barbering you're also doing hair which i feel is is great to be that way because yeah. you know when you're a barber, you're limiting your thing. If you're a hairstylist, you're almost limited. But when you do hair and you're able to maybe add hair as the same way yeah. you can fading Fade the hair, yep. now you know how to add hair. Yep. There's just as much amount yep. of money as adding ex ex extensions. Yeah. Extensions is crazy, whether you're taping mm -hmm. or clipping in or you're sewing them in. There's so much yeah. money to adding on hair. Yeah, and if you get them good bundles, when you get them, them <laughs> Hampton nights out there, you're talking about oh, yeah. $800, $1,200 from some extensions. Mm -hmm. And they're paying for the hair. Exactly. You know what I just said, right? They pay for the hair. <laughs> and then they pay for the service. And then they pay for the service. <laughs> that's mm. right. No, that's good for you, man. And, and going, from, going from the school, I, I appreciate the words you just said because I think that so many young Anybody in industry, but especially ours, mm -hmm. is so popular right now to be a barber. Right. And then we have this whole other realm, right, yeah, like, of like education and being branded. Bring, and, uh, bring, and so many people kind of get um, lost of in looking to be branded right. and looking to be sponsored. No, I thought those were very wise words from somebody like you that said that. Haircut, right? Thank you. That's, on that's one thing I know I try in to middle. get into coming out of school because you get to see it. You see the platform that a lot of artists get. Mm -hmm. So you kind of come out okay. of school inspired, so let's try that. Mm -hmm. not understanding that like they put in like a serious amount of work to get to the platform that they at. Yeah. Versus like, you know, Instagram is so popular right now that everybody just gets it. It's like, that's not how it works. Yeah. You really gotta, like I said, work on your own personal self, build your skill set, and then once your skill set and your personal brand is there, it's like they'll talk to you before you, a lot of times out of time, have to talk to them. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's and I've seen, I've seen both vice versa go the other way, and, and it, it backfires because it's too early. Exactly. You know, so you don't want it to backfire on you mentally. I think that's what happens. Like you go too early on, and you you, you go about it the wrong way, mm -hmm. and it backfires. And I've seen people take it the wrong way, and then that that like stifles them. The rest of the, so if you just go into it with the right mental attitude, like you're saying exactly. right now, like grow yourself. You got time. You're like how old are you? I just turned 25. Yo, you remember what it was to be 25? <laughs> Yo, if you're 25, if you're in your oh, 20s right now, years ago, man. if you're if you're in your 20s right now and you're just starting to barber, you have plenty of time to get sponsored. Literally. Work on your craft, bro. <laughs> Work on your craft. I like that. That was good. Well, that's and that's another thing, Trill. Again, with someone like Success Addict, you're gonna find out one of the things here on the Sis Lou Show. We like to educate people on the difference between sponsorship and endorsements. Mm. Sponsorship is when a company might give you some supplies to sell. Mm -hmm. And then they call you to work for them, and you might get paid for that. And again, either might give you half money and then half product mm -hmm. to sell. Endorsements is a monthly check. You're with that company. They're giving you a monthly check. And on top of that monthly check, they're paying you to do separate events. Yep. So just want to let you know that right there, depending on what you're going to be going for. But... Always trying to master the craft. My advice to you and my advice to anybody who's watching this program, the best skill that you can have in this profession, the best. I will sit there and I'll argue with anybody. We can get into a, a hair debate one-on-one. -on -one. The best skill that you can have in this profession is to maintain the ability to be coached. Definitely. The ability yeah. to be Preach. coached. Not, right now. Oh, you got to keep learning. What happens if you're not good at learning? 
What happens if you can't learn right like there? Like you, you're only learning bits and pieces. What I mean by someone, if you got to be able to be coached, that's a great skill. Like my yeah. son is sitting there in a the chair. My son, when he plays football, and I've talked to other parents before, mm -hmm. like, oh, my son's mm -hmm. fast. My, my, son, my, my son got some wheels. Mm -hmm. But one of the things with my son is his skill is he could be coached. Yeah. Don't do that. Do this. Yeah. And sometimes he does it too much by the book. You know, you're yeah. going on the field. You got to. But that's one of the things yeah. I picked up. And I'm able to talk about it here on the show yeah. because it's big. That's a, it's that's big a, to be coached. That, that, to that skill set is, is <laughs> not talked about enough. Yes. Because we all talk about the skill, you know, if it's barbering, whatever you're doing, whether it's a sport or whatnot, we always talk about the skill of fading or doing this, this X, Y, and Z. But like you said, if, if you can't listen to what somebody else is saying or, or critiquing or whatever, some people can't do that, man. Like no. if your son is, is coachable, that's valuable to a team. Yeah. That's, that's amazing right there. Yeah. So, true. That's, that's my gem. If Ooh. anything that hopefully you could take from here Definitely. on top of that, you know, talking onto the mic, talking into the microphone, hearing your voice is something to me. I feel like that's a major thing because people want to get out there and educate. And the next thing you know, it's like, OK, you mic'd up and now talk about what you do. And then it's just like your voice throws you off. You're like, oh, boy, mm -hmm. this is the way I sound. So hopefully the next time you come through here, you're able to showcase on a, on the stage. We do offer a tutorial option where if you want to do a tutorial, you can come down here and do a tutorial too. It's just a lot of people that come down here just would like to showcase and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but the tutorial is an option. And again, if you're watching the show, again, it's a live program. You want to show some support underneath my finger, well, underneath the Scissor Salute Show banner that you... <laughs> You can press that share button, share it on your feed, and also share it again and post it in groups, send it to people as well. This is a live program for barbers, hairstylists, and makeup artists. We keep on talking about the email and send it. So, Trill, thank you so much for coming yeah. on to the show. Thank Real you, man. Real quick, I will say this. You know how you say you had a, 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 um, a breakout barber for 2018? Mm-hmm. This is mine. Oh. oh. The vote is in. I yeah, like that. In there. Yeah. On yeah. camera. We got that on camera. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Mark Breakout Nick. artist. Look no further. You True. found him. Four twenty three. Except for I've been talking about him for uh, between me and several for about maybe a month or some change because he he gets it from the business side. That's what makes him dangerous because he's will bring some. He's gonna be the total package in the future because nice. not only does he have the skill set. But he gets it from the business side. All right. Mm. All he right. gets it from the understanding about the retirement. It's not too many young barbers. He reached out to me, asked him about retirement. It's not about, and it's not about him, you know, he's going to put out that he is my client. But we're not, it's, it's bigger than that. The fact that he took that step. How many barbers in this industry or hairstylists could reach out and say, I need, you know, show me the ropes. Yeah. Like how you said, coachable is valuable. Mm -hmm. He's very coachable. For him to hear nice. what I had to say as a financial guy, and from everything y'all saying, mm -hmm. I'm not just being his spokesman, but just the relationship we, we had developed, super coachable. It's not like, nice. yeah, 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 he's young and he he, he knows everything. Mm -hmm. You tell him something, it's like, he take heed to it. Nice. And that right there, that's why I feel like right. from from the other, um, not taking anybody from any young barbers, there's a lot, but that coachable. And also the fact... Um, was being kind of modest. He not only did he graduate from you know Paul Mitchell, but he graduated on the dean's list. Okay. All right. So, so, yeah, all right. So, 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 that. <clears throat> so he's coming down. You that's you got trill skill, huh? <laughs> I, mean, I ain't like that. Oh, one. okay. You know, on the show, on the show, we always when someone comes down, I always gotta throw something. Nah, man, man. Any nicknames you gotta. Come you, here. you know what you gotta do? You gotta have a po you gotta start making like a banner, like with like nicknames, y'all, and you cross them off. Well, he's sitting there talking about like, like that. that Trilsky. There's a whole lot you can do. You know, just, you know. Nah, definitely. Take I mean. a trill pill. Let <laughs> 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 me stop, and I'm gonna keep going. I'm sorry. I don't really am. Chill. Thank you so much thank for you coming much, on man. the show. Before Appreciate we let you go, let him. Everybody know they can get in contact with you. Uh, any information, phone number wise, or social media that you'd like to share with us, please do so now. This, Definitely. Uh, well, we want to reach you on uh, Insta Instagram. My handlebar is uh, lifestyle dot trail t r x l l. Um, email you can email me at kpeoples k p e e p l e s twenty two at gmail.com. 
Anything else? Just shoot me a message, man. No doubt. I know Wifey's in this, uh, the other part of the studio shaking her head right now. <laughs> <laughs> First thing we do, we're going to get in cars and be like, he's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if he didn't like that? Like, you think you're making fun of him. You got to think of that. Like, we do hair, so you got to be able to be a, like a little... That's right. That's what happens. Like, that's I was happens. running into people yesterday. Like, there was a couple barbers. Like, you, you, what's the name? Big West? Yeah. You see him? Yo. Yo, yeah. this yeah. guy Big West is like six yeah. foot four, yeah. two hundred and fifty yeah. pounds of straight muscle. Good muscle, bro. Yep. So I, we, as soon as he walked in, I was like, "Yo, what's going?" On? I started like pounding on his chest, like, <laughs> like that too, because I was like, like just like that, because you're looking at. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, he's done." Everyone's like, my boy that's looking at me exactly. like, "Yo, like, that's so funny." I never met that, him man. in person, but yo, my man's six foot four, like. I looked at him and was like, yo, you realize if I was to get in your chair, I'm going to need a booster seat for you to cut my hair? He must got a custom chair. Yeah, he I is a big he dude. A, I think he got a custom chair. He, he, big he needs custom razors too, man, because yeah. my man is brolic. Yeah. His he lives the brolic life. Yeah, he, does, he is. And he's only been in the game for not that long. Nine. He's, he's, been, uh, he's been doing it. I believe he was with the finest barbers yesterday. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, finest. he pulled up, man. Was it fine? I can't coast on that. Oh, yeah, it was fine. Yes, fine, it was. I'm right. sorry. Yes, and it was. Then Tariq yes, it was. I'm sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Tariq. I'm sorry. And yes. I love to... to so listen, listen to them, bro. Tariq Jackson has one of the best logos there is. That hot stamp thing? What? His whole, his whole branding that happened with... I mean, he's been around forever, but his rebranding that he did... Not, I don't want to call it rebranding, but his branding that he did... Man, that with that symbol and everything, how he's yes. come out with all the apps and the effects Steamer. and the, how he's pushing the man, he completely took over, man. Well, That's Eric from effects apps, uh, we like to say salute him and hopefully. Oh, uh, oh she, she was, well, I thought mid, she was calling mid, in. <laughs> mid, oh, mid conversation, we just stopped. What's going You know what it is? I don't think Sephro. Sephro was like, you know He's, what? Yeah, I'm going to just surprise. Yeah. I wish we had that on camera. I'm going to surprise everybody. <laughs> Mid conversation to stop. We're going to, oh, you want it, Harry? I'm calling him in. <laughs> Want to shoot? And Toshiba's up in here again. Uh, Sis Lou affiliate right hey. here. Uh, a BBA member as well. Yes. Very interesting story with her. She has the inter intergalactic thing going on from state to state, natural yes. hair. <laughs> Nice. Let's go. Let's do a recap of the whole natural hair care thing that you have going on. Wait, wait. Oh. Can you introduce yourself one more time? Because I got it over what he said, but I just want to hear from Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, good evening, everybody. So, salute. Ooh. Hey. I'm Tashiba Taylor. I'm the owner of Indigo Hair Innovations in nice. West Hartford, Connecticut. I'm not only the owner. I'm a stylist. And um, I travel over the tri-state area teaching classes as well as servicing my clients. So... We have our own virgin hair brand, Indigo Exclusive. So we sell weaves, um, natural hair to relaxed hair, um, wigs, uh, or cranial prosthesis. And we have bundles. And um, also a technician for influence hair care. Mm. Woo! Mm -hmm. Well, hold up. You're the one that said this is not, you don't like using the word wigs, no? I know, crowns. Crowns, right? right? I mean, yes. Seth, do I call them crowns? <laughs> you be doing it? Day. Yes. Since gotta, that day, I was like, say. okay, I got to say crowns. Crowns. Yes, Just like since, uh, <laughs> Seth, who's the uh, gentleman that is on uh, Hef, Hairstylist Education Forum, the guy with the silver hair that called up here? Steve. Yes, yeah, Steve. He doesn't like using industry. Oh, yes, oh, I remember that. He yeah. likes to use profession. Profession. Yeah, he just had the wording. So I've been wording, using profession ever since then. The wording. Before I used uh, industry, and you'll never hear me say game. Mm. Say really? I don't say game. I, I don't say it. Oh. I don't say it because, I, I mean, I have nothing wrong with it, if you're going to want to say it. Just like I'm, I am a supporter, if you're going to say Barbara Hustle, go ahead. Mm -hmm. What I don't like is if you're on some... Boring is not a hustle, it's a profession. Mm -hmm. And then, then, like, two weeks later, you're like, it. well, you know, I've been in this Got game it. 20 years. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's not a hustle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a hustle, but it's yeah. a game. Yeah. Pick one. Pick one. Got it. Got so, it. you know, I have no problem. Whatever you want to call it. So what did you call them? What did you call them? Crown. Crown. Every queen crown. needs a crown. Every queen needs a crown. No, but when you were saying your speech, you said... Harry, what cranial prosthesis? Cranial what the? Yeah. See, come on, I see. I'm learning. Now I'm learning. See, that's <laughs> what's it. Going on I in caught here. that. I caught it. I was like, oh wait, what? Uh -huh. That was super professional. That I appreciate like that. that I wish I could say it, but if I'm you're not. trying to add some dollar signs and commas, and you have to write 
scripts to get money from insurance companies, you definitely have to have the right terminology. All right. Insurance companies will not pay you for a wig. No. Or a, a hair piece. Yes. But they will pay you for a cranial prosthesis. Uh, yeah. I'm wait. That's I'm wait. Like Google. That's Google. Google word yeah. Word can right I? There. Okay. So so wait a minute. So now are you saying this just to be professional? Are you really oh, having no. people pay? The insurances will pay for this. Oh yeah. Cool. Like if, you know. Unfortunately, people have things such as Lyme disease, this is cancer, true. Yes. things yes. of that nature. Alopecia. Um, yeah. And it, it's a chronic thing. Yes. So they're not going to just have it for a fashion yeah, or for a moment. For fashion, yeah. yeah, so it's a solution to you know, okay. uh, to something that's going on. So wow. insurance companies will pay sometimes in full and sometimes partial payments for the client to be serviced. Nice. Yeah, so you have to use the right terminology when you are, you know, yeah. having, when their doctor is writing a script. For you to fulfill that prescription, yes, you gotta put a different hat on now. <laughs> you oh, know, man. yeah. So you have to use the right terminology. Very nice. But yeah, yeah, yeah that therapy. was deep. I, that was yeah, that was good. Right. I like that. Yeah. Everyone got all quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're we're right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was good. That was good. Like, that was yeah. good. <laughs> I was telling you, I to How go back to. I have that? to do the replay of this and <laughs> write all the notes. I like that. And even in, in the barbers are doing like the man weave yes. and things like that. But I you can actually shit. get like different units that are already pre-made. Okay. And different. Can't do, we can't you do use it. adhesives, <laughs> not bonding or glue. Okay. You got to use the right terms, and you know, the you know the more you take training, the more you get you no know, you know education on it. You can yeah. get. You don't have to just get money from the client why not you know you can work towards getting on a larger scale so now there's so many educational class options mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. you know people might want to go to someone local you know why would someone want to go to your class and what should one expect well i train through influence hair care and they have one of the best education systems. Um, right now, actually, next weekend, I'm going to NES National Education Symposium in Virginia Beach. And it's a three-day training, and you can do hands-on trainings to learn how to do hair replacement therapy. And we have trichologists, we have barbers, we have hairstylists. We, you know, we have a whole team of people to give you the proper education, even the business knowledge on how to fill out the forms and everything. So my piece would be on creating the unit or how to order the unit. So, how, you know, how to color it, that, the more hands-on things. Yes. I do the technical things, but I don't teach the technical part of it. We have trichologists that teach the technical what part What did you just it. say? Tri 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 trichologists. Trichologists. Yeah. Come on. Go ahead. Go not tell, go, go with trichologists. Tell them what yeah. it is. Now, tell, tell everybody what it is. They tried. They tried. That's what they do. They tried. <laughs> they specialize in trying things. They, they specialize in the study of diseases and infections okay. um, <laughs> that affect the hair and the scalp. Mama, so. No, I really, no, because this is this is big stuff right now. Like, you have no mm -hmm. idea. Like, I've heard a lot about what you, you're talking about, uh -huh. but on a very surface, surfacey. Yeah. So the fact that I'm I'm meeting somebody deep in it like that. Levels that's, to it, right? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, no, because we're all, you know, for, for so many of us, especially in the barber industry, mm -hmm. it's it's slowly moving to a pro profession. Wait, yeah, we're saying profession, Profession, right? not right. Right. industry. Yes, yeah, we're yeah, saying profession. Right. <laughs> we got it right. All right, cool. <laughs> all right. so we're moving, we're just moving to profession yeah. up into doing things for our clients that will help them in a lot of different ways, not just the looks. Yeah. And that's where the beauty industry is, has been for a while. Mm -hmm. And so I think to be on this show and to see, hopefully Barbara's gonna be watching this and hear you talk about this stuff, that is a def definitely a different level that you can take yeah. this to. And, and ultimately, yes, it can affect your bottom line, which is I think what, what it comes down to. For and you can help hair grow yeah. and you stay employed. So it's like a win-win. Or if they have no hair, you don't say, oh, that's not my demographic. You can broaden it and service those people. So, you know, it's, it's there. And then you kind of know why you're doing something instead of causing a problem, mm -hmm. you know, so. Can I say something real quick? You know what yes. I find amazing? Being that I'm not a barber, I'm not a hairstylist. There's some people could consider me, I'm part of the industry now. But for me being a financial guy, that this is something that that y'all y'all get it, but a lot of people out here don't get it. Yeah. That what y'all do from starting from just cutting it in the um, basement, of your mother house, to the bathroom, <clears throat> or or on the on locker room, wherever you started off, or doing hair, your sister hair, your doll hair. Look what had, look what that has taken you. Mm. 
from just something just as a little kid, just playing and just, you know, you know what, let me see how, let me, let me chip, let me chip you up real quick. Mm -hmm. Just experiment. Mm -hmm. That, look at has that taken you to, to not only you, but look, look at the heights of where this um, industry is at. To having the biggest barber expo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look, look, look how that sounds. You know, it was Connecticut Expo, the biggest barber event in the country. In the, From, I'm gonna say in the, I'm gonna say in the, in the world. In the world. Wasn't it say. lit yesterday yeah. though? Like, yeah, that was <laughs> that hip hop that, violinist. That, that, yo, that, that violinist live. is crazy. Yeah. Everybody, but it's just amazing that this is something that a lot <laughs> of individuals take for granted. Mm -hmm. That there's it's really levels to this. Mm -hmm. Just as you're talking about mm -hmm. the hair replacement, it's levels to this. It's more than just. Well, a job is just over broke, but if and when and in the, in in the profession we Hashtag like to that. say you master your craft. So it's a craftsmanship. Some are born with it with natural talent, and others have to work towards it to develop it. But mastering it means you are continuing your education, you're taking it seriously, and you're elevating yourself. So there's one thing to do it as a hobby or just because you're naturally talented, but it's another thing to go out and, and search. And when you love something, you're so focused and so driven, it's like you have tunnel mm -hmm. vision, nothing is stopping mm -hmm. you. So if it has to do with your profession, you're like, I need to be there. I need to be at the CT Barber Expo. I need to plug into this class. I need mm -hmm. to network with this person. I need to mentor with this person. <coughs> but I heard you guys saying earlier, you gotta be coachable. Because the more you pour into others, the more God's gonna pour into you. But if you're not ready to receive it, you're hands not gonna gotta get be open. nowhere. Yeah, the hands gotta be open. So, what I mean by like also coachable, you one of the things that we're seeing a lot more on social media is people downing the whole photoshopping and enhancement. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> personally, yeah, I think it's a little bit of cheating, but at the same time, I'm not one to tell you how to. Number one is your page. I'm not going to tell you how to run your page. Mm -hmm. Number two is your life, your business. Mm -hmm. So how are we want to dictate how you conduct your business? I know plenty of barbers who openly admit to using Photoshop, and they generate a lot of money off of it. Mm -hmm. They get reposted, and they'll deal with the negativity, but it generates traffic coming into their chair. On top of that, if you know how to use the enhancements, mm -hmm. and you perfect it and master it, you're going to generate a lot of money. Now, we got, say we're in a four-person barbershop, and everyone, uh, I'm traditional, and you know what, that's not me, and what the, what do I look like using color enhancements? And I'm like, oh, you know what, I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, they're coming in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times now, people are not coming in saying, oh, let me get that post. No, they're coming in. They're showing, can I get <laughs> <Yeah>. this? <laughs> Like, people are coming in the sh Can you do surgery? Can I, <laughs> can I do this? And I'm like, yeah, I can. But you know, that's enhancements. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. you could do that. I'll let you know. It's $25 for the haircut. Mm -hmm. But that enhancement is going to add on another 20. Mm -hmm. 20. I don't care. Let me get this mm -hmm. done. Boom. There it goes. It just took a $25 haircut to a $50 haircut yeah. or more. But, like, you know, like, the beard game is, like, really big right now. So what if you, like, have alopecia in your beard? Yep. And you got that forever, forever, ever bald spot. Oh, well. If you want that full beard, then you got to do enhancement yes, anyway. That, it's I'll, not, there's no I solution. I use KISS. Okay. I use KISS on that. The semi-permanent? The, the semi-permanent because I don't know exactly what the Jing is going to do in the hair. Mm -hmm. And then I also have to, like, navigate through. Mm -hmm. I have to navigate through the alopecia. I got one customer who's, woo. You got it all underneath here. And it's like texturing. You can't just spray it on. It's the art to it. Yeah. And like real, realistically, I don't, I hope no one's offended, but do you know if you can do enhancements, you could really do like airbrush makeup and you might as well just service a unisex like salon yeah. or barbershop because it's the same technique. Like contouring is the same thing y'all doing on beards. Well, I do it on the face. I'll tell you like, this much. Makeup, makeup artists and hairstylists, one of the advantages that they will have to barbers in the profession is your ability to see violet as we see purple <laughs> or your ability to, to just you know be able to yeah. decipher certain colors and we're just like that's yeah. red no that's not red mm -hmm. that is a burgundy with a with a splash of moon yes. you know where else <laughs> not man that's red I know. Even, you know 
like interior decorating, like, no, that's alabaster. Like, what the heck is the alabaster? Mm. <laughs> like, is that color? That's true. Like, you know? That's true. Yeah, but everyone awesome. has their niche, and you just developed it. You know? That's some blessing when you say that. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's interesting because we're, we're, I love it because I feel that our genres, our two professions are meeting up in this, in this age, you know, like it, beauty industry took, took, took it, they went with it. And then barbering kind of went down, you know, went away for a little bit. It's coming back. So we're learning, we're learning this stuff. You know that, which is which I think is exciting for us. Like and so, like in Connecticut, where I, you know where I am, there wasn't even a separate barber license until like a couple years yeah. ago. So that happened a lot. Yeah, New Jersey all, too. Yeah. And, yeah. So like I'm like head to head with like gentlemen and, and and women. We're all working in the same school, studying the same thing, taking all my barber friends. I dress with them, but they could probably finger wave better than me. <laughs> doing the same curriculum, but when we go out into the the I'm gonna say industry, it's really difficult because you get labeled and typecasted that you have to stay into like a box. Mm. And now people are like saying, "I know how to do this. I can make money off of this. But how can I incorporate it into what I do already?" And I think that's what took barbering to the next level mm -hmm. because, yo, know, I can do color. Why not? Mm -hmm. Like you know, they're like, "Shoot, I learned it." Like, yeah. Why am I gonna send you next door? I, I think you get tired of saying, "Oh, let me send you to the yep. salon, then come back to me, then go back there." I said the same thing. I said the same thing recently to my client because um, I'm gonna have an esthetician come. Well, I'm gonna go take a class mm -hmm. with an esthetician mm -hmm. so I can learn how to do a couple techniques that I see, you know, barbers post a lot of, the you know, facial. the waxings yeah. and all. That. You know, I do some facial work because I went to the school I went to down in Florida. We our license, um, kind of like Trill, was very close to. A stylist. We just didn't learn how to do makeup. Okay. That was the only basically only, they didn't learn how to do a razor. Mm -hmm. So I learned how to do that stuff. So, but the waxing and stuff like that, you know, I have I haven't done that stuff in a long since since I left. The beginning, yeah. You know, so now <laughs> I gotta re-educate myself. So yeah. I don't pull. I don't. Did you see the video? Somebody put wax over the whole guy's head. Oh yeah. You see that? My man was like he this. Waxed Look, the whole he waxed the whole guy's like head. This. He Yo. said like yeah. this. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. He was literally. Tra he put wax over the guy's head. That probably was clean as hell too. Like he didn't get it off. I don't even know what happened at the end of the video. The video stuff. Yeah. It, no. It, it, no. It wasn't in strips. He no. put. He whacked, He like made a dome. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. I don't know if you ever it wasn't Flash, like it wasn't like, like he went like this and took yeah, it off. Infections. He did the whole thing. You ever see Flash Gordon? The bad guy in yeah. Flash Gordon. Yeah. He had. Yeah. He had the whole. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It was bad. Ooh, it's just, it's the same thing like with with the waxing. Certain people have to be educated with that waxing because a lot of people started seeing it on social media like oh I could do it and they didn't take the time at least take the time out to go to YouTube and really you know. <laughs> you, at, least yeah, at least do that at the minimum. I mean, we were talking about the CT Bar Expo. I understand yesterday was your first time there at the mm. expo. Wasn't your first time at a hair event, so no. give us the the yeah. final outcome. Yeah. Oh my, I think this was the best thing I've ever been to in my life. Ah. Like my whole life. You see, like, I said it was the best like, one. Like legit, the energy was bananas. Like when I went in there, it just looked like a regular hair show. I was like, okay, you know. Whatever, you know, but the energy, the camaraderie, everything was so, like, there was, like, levels. So there was excitement in every corner. It was well organized, very safe, very clean, mm. um, and the artistry was just everything amazing. Everything was lined up. Yeah, it was so, see it was like a sequence. I was like, this is amazing. Everything was lined like, up. The moon, yeah. the stars, everything was lined up. I mean, up. and then Rick Ross was there, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like, ah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> We have a man, Julian Caesar. He jumped off the stage yesterday into the crowd. Did you see that? Yeah. That's they caught crazy. him. They caught him Good, and brought him back to the stage. That, yeah, that, that is. That's what I said. That would have hurt. <laughs> I like that they catch him. That okay, would have okay. hurt right Yo, there. it was. It was. It was crazy. It was amazing. Like I live amazing. in Connecticut and I like Ubered there because it was like no parking. <laughs> like I was like, oh uh, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, that would have awesome. hurt. But that's the awesome. entertainment was amazing. Yeah. Like everything. So here we are sitting down with us. We got Gus. When I'm telling you, the man is branded with everything. He is branded. He got the zipper up on right now, too. Yes, he does. Okay, so you got, you got, you got the J Majors right there, the man himself with uh, Edu. Edu. Right there. Yeah. Gus, you were there yesterday. You've been to a couple events. What was your take on it? Uh, it, was, it was a real good event. I uh, feel like it's different every year, but it's still dope. It's still ill. It's just 
a lot of people come out and, and see. If, I didn't even know they was coming from all across the world. Like, yeah, that. yeah, that's, that's I ran into Brazilian, a couple of Brazilian barbers. I think they they put the pictures up there. A couple of barbers from Brazil that were uh, competing. And just because it says CT Expo, it wasn't just Connecticut barbers, man. It yeah, was family in there from all parts of the yes. world. Yeah. Did, you, did you see Angel Blends? Yes. Angel Blends had his brand new, like brand new baby, like three months, wow. <laughs> three months up in there. Yo, I saw a friend from second grade there, and <laughs> I was like in shock, like literally. I was like, what? Like, just, just though seen someone from the eighth grade, the barber that I went. He's like, yo, I went to school. Yeah, man. yeah. I was like, yo, say what up. He's like, oh, I'm not like, gonna. It's man. eighth grade. That's funny. I was yeah. like, damn. Was, Did you go say hi to that person? Yo, he picked me up. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't have time to say hi. Literally picked you up. I was like, ah. I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> like, I remember you from the sandbox. <laughs> it was a salute to Penny the Last there you King. Go, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, Gus, um, I know you were there with your shop. Was there any of the barbers there their first time at an event like that? Or um, I believe I believe they all been to uh, CT before. Okay. So they all knew what to expect, and uh, they all had a great time. And um. I was actually looking for one particular product. One of my customers is saying he has allergic reaction to Beijing. So oh, just my. shooting around a couple of questions. I need an organic. So if somebody knows, hit Eli. Yes. So we're looking me. for an organic color. Uh, one of your clients has an allergic reaction to the Jing. Yeah. And it happens a lot with the Jing. That's why I said I don't want to yeah, use it on the alopecia. Because oh, one thing with Jing, I'm going to give you a Jing Beijing warning, which is, is a good product. But again, we just talk about the wax. Make sure you do some research right, on research how it. to properly use. You Beijing. gotta test that. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta try it, see if the, you know, find <laughs> a spot that. where you could put it on the client, see if they're gonna have any reaction. And yeah. then it's almost like, the movie Gremlins, <laughs> yeah. whether you, you gotta mandatorily wash it in the shop, or if they don't, they gotta go. You gotta give them that like Gremlin warning. You know, mm -hmm. you got that after twelve. If not, man, they're gonna start yeah. popping out on your yes. face. I seen one because guy left the test. shop. Yeah, yeah. There's 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 proce there's procedures for past tests. Yeah, and, and yes. you can't. Again, that's something that's researchable too. Just a procedure. Google where, it. <laughs> yeah, Google that. Like where you could put it behind to test the them air, behind. Yeah, behind. Right on the, you have like, to like. Not on the that's beer. dangerous, man. Don't I do it on the beer. Burn after that for that. Yeah. For I, well, on the it. guy yeah. left the shop. What about his day? Oh. Hmm. Said, oh no, I'm just gonna make a stop on it. No, he warned about the whole entire day with but, the gym because he left the shop saying i'm gonna go wash it out nah he likes his step out darth vader style he liked yeah, that blackness blackout, on his yeah. beard he liked the blackout mm -hmm. when I, we seen him oh my lord it was his skin was raw yeah yeah it was bumped up so again we're asking for a color product maybe more natural products something that's easy uh i know the kiss is temporary but you got to watch it because you might put the application of the kiss on and then the person like leaves the shop like, oh, man, I love this. Yo, Eli, yo, thank you so much. And then they go home and wash it and wash it thoroughly. And that, that kiss gets dismissed. What about <laughs> Real like quick. permanent color with like the me or MEA instead of the ammonia? Well, Does that work effectively? Um, th that uh, I, I don't know. I don't really do like... Uh, the coloring so as a lot much, of, a but lot that's of the a good times, question. A lot of the times when we as barbers use the color, especially for the enhancement of the beard, mm -hmm. we tend to use more semi or, or demi permanent mm -hmm. because it, the way that it, it leaves the skin or leaves the leaves the beard, it comes out naturally. Mm -hmm. Where like if you have that permanent mark, it's a, it's a little bit more harsh. Okay. You know, especially when it when it starts the hair growth starts to come out. So we we don't want that as much. So you don't really want to stain the skin. It's just really like you do. We do stain the skin when we put some of the, st the stains on. That's what mm -hmm. they're actually most of them are. Like the kiss is a stain. The, yes. Yeah, the kiss is That's a stain. why I use it on the, the alopecia. But because, like he said, if you wash it enough, it just comes out. So it's the, it's the after where the washout or the progression through the week or so, how it's natural. Where I, I think a permanent would be too too harsh. For, for that. Have, I think they they're going to want it anyway. But they have yeah, the, they have the semi They're going to want it. Yeah. Then add, you're saying add the... Be Beijing is like really like a the, henna. What do you call it? The, the mirror? MEA, EMEA, EMEA. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, ammonia yeah. free. It. Ammonia free, yeah. But it's, per, it's and I don't know if that's what I don't know if that's the problem with the Beijing. Is no, the, it doesn't have that in it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Beijing, Beijing is, is just hot like, stuff. Uh, yeah. it, Beijing it, yeah. is actually organic. Yeah. But it's just strong. It's and then I know yeah. you're watching, you're from down south, it's pronounced <coughs> vegan or whatever. whatever. What we is from, that? We're from New York, Beijing, it's Beijing. Or, yeah, yeah, it's a whole no, no, you can talk to someone from Atlanta, and potato, I guess that's potato. like those like the originator because, you know, they have the. The Beijing competition down there. They actually mm. have a Beijing competition. Com- yeah. Wow. Vegan. Challenge out there. Cap- you know, and we're, we're just over here like, oh, Beijing. And they're like, it's called vegan. vegan. Okay? I'm like, man, I was be- you know it's actually a babyless. No, man. You call oh, it babyless, man. Yeah. You know, that's, I'm living in New York, man. Yeah. I wear Tim's in the summertime, man. It's hey. babyless, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? wear Tim's in the summertime. So, so, Gus, I mean, uh, I know the summer's coming up, and you have the slogan, shoot hoops, not yeah, guns. Correct. You're going to be doing that again this year? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, shout a scissor salute to my brother, Taz. Uh, he has Major League Barbershop. We always do an annual barbecue for the kids, for local. Just come out, have fun, enjoy it. And if you think you can hoop, come see us. And uh, if you think you cut hair, come see us, too. I heard that. Ah! Get at us! Get at us, bro! Yo, but I, I wanna, I wanna uh, give a, a special sh- sh- salute to my brother, DJ Create. That was a Vegas haircut. He just paid my car note. Ah! That's Power nice. 105 DJ right there. He did me a favor. He need a favor, so I need a favor. Come down to the salute. And that's why we love this that's guy. DJ that's Create it. right You there, never man. know who's in the studio right here. We just had a nice big DJ come down here, get laced up. He's about to go to Vegas. Huh? Nice. We got Edu over here from Philly. Oh, and we got the she was just popped up in here. <laughs> magically came yeah. in here in a, a, a magic carpet with Harry Houdini. Who was like, oh man, I'd yeah. like to have a show. And next thing you know, it comes <laughs> up. Well, when Seth Rowe called you, you, you got to come through real quick. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even know. And then we have uh, uh, Trill, Trill coming down here. Trill skill. And it's, it's, it's going to just keep going. I'm pretty sure he's going to be riding home. There's going to be a whole bunch of like. <laughs> Rain drop. Trill the thrill is going to be a whole lot of like on the way home. What do you think about this one? It's a good t-shirt. <laughs> Why not? So again, man, if, you, uh, if you're watching the show right now and you're like, hey, man, I'd like to come down to the show. And if you're going to be in the New York area, you can email us, scissorsloot at yahoo.com. Leave your contact information. We'll get back to you in the order that the email is received. And uh, if you want to advertise with us, if you see the, the watermark with the cut up there to advertise with us. And at the same time, if you like the book is for an event. In other words, there's, there was one event. Albuquerque did it great. There was a couple events that did it good when they booked us. Albuquerque really hit it down the noggin. The thing is, you have your event. You set up the stage, elevated stage. Of course, we have uh, barbers and hairstylists and makeup artists showcasing throughout the event. And what we like to do is we like to interview the people that are competing. So everybody that is competing at the event gets interviewed. So it's a win-win situation. Mm. So now what I mean by that is you have someone who took their time out from their family to come down and compete. They paid their entry fee and it might not have went their way. Mm. It might not have went their way. That's just the truth and the harsh reality when you go to compete. Mm. But they got to get interviewed. Mm -hmm. So that still might be able to light the fire nice. and they've come back. And there's been a couple of times where I've interviewed someone. Uh, matter of fact, we interviewed uh, Smitty, UGK. Check, check, check. Yeah. UGK. Yeah. I would like to salute this gentleman. First and only person that I've seen with a portable AC unit. <laughs> what? When he was competing. <laughs> he competed, While he was competing? He competed in every And he event, had the AC unit with and him? And he had the portable that's, AC that's, unit. That's good. That's good. I like that. And then what happens? I've seen him in El Paso uh, following <clears throat> year. I believe it's uh, 14, 2014 I've seen him. Mm-hmm. And then I went back to El Paso 2017, and he's a judge. Nice. Wow. There you go. So it was great to see the expansion and see people grow. So once again, if you're looking to book us for your next event, that is scissorsloot at yahoo.com. Uh, I'd like to thank Jesse that cut for coming here on the show. Toshiba and Gus and Relief Sephiro, you got some words that you want to say, Jesse? Well, no, I just wanted to go back to the, the uh, interviews during the uh, barber battles that we do. I wanted to scissorsloot Brooklyn because Brooklyn actually took it one step further yes, they did. and actually broadcast the interviews 
that we were doing during the competition. Oh, nice. Wow. Right. If you, if basically, sometimes the competition's going down and you need some entertainment for the crowd. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with everybody doing what they do. But you, you think about the people that are competing, again, uh, the way I broke, broke it down. They're taking time away from their family. They're spending money. And the truth is, it might not work out the way you want it to be. But you can still be interviewed and it could be put into rotation. And to me, I feel like I'm not just saying this because I host the show, but I know and I've seen people's faces when they get interviewed, either on the show or get interviewed at the events. You know, the people that they brought with them, you know, they're like, oh, man, I didn't even know that you, I didn't even know that it was like this. This is like a, another culture or whatever. And it really opens up the eyes. So. Yeah, the, the whole reason why, real quick, why that came to be was because I felt that at a lot of these competitions, people forget about the competitors. Yet the competitors are the ones who really make the show. Mm -hmm. Right. So this way we can capture the competitors before maybe they get sold because they lost or they didn't do as good as they thought. Everybody thinks they're a winner off of that stage yeah. when we interview them. Yeah. Oh, and but Lord, I'm, I'm getting feeling. a phone call anyway. I'm getting a phone call <laughs> anyway. You need to talk about the show. You need to talk about the the <clears throat> the judges there. What? <laughs> yeah. You need to do something about this. What do you? What do you want me to do? <laughs> you know, that, that's a, I think that's a really uh, beautiful opportunity that you guys bring to the table because of that reason. Um, when people go for the comp competition, first off, if you're in a competition, win or lose, you should be learning something about yourself. So you shouldn't be salty about not winning. You should be bringing your A game regardless. And if that didn't well, win, that's not enough. At, at that time, you see, they get salty because of the judges. Oh, no, that's what I know. Oh, I know. I know all about it, bro. I hear it all the yeah. time. That's that's the biggest. All the judges and weren't fair. But what I'm saying is that what what you guys are bringing to the table now in, is the exposure to, to get your get past just the just the haircut. Because like he like just being on the show enough, like you're saying, just the wording, your terminology, how you can learn to speak starts right there. So why not do it all together? That's a beautiful thing that Sizzle Salute brings to a show is that you, you're bringing more than just the competition. Seth, do we have anything that we're going to go off to? Yeah, we'll do a video. Uh, we're going to go, go off to a video and then we're going to join all the guests that are still here in the studio up on the stage. I do believe Harry Houdini magically disappeared. He did say <laughs> bye though, but there was no smoke. <laughs> There was no poof. See you guys later. I was, but we still got Etu from Finland, up. though. Yes, hey. we did. Hey, still Finland got, in the house. So yeah. last week they're was, sleeping right now, but it's okay. Last week was Japan. <laughs> this week was Finland. Stay tuned for next week. We'll find out what country's gonna be up in here. Might just be good old New York. Well, that, that video that you seen right there was Haven the Groomer from the Groom Lounge. And uh, we'd like to take this time right here. My son right here was supporting uh, Sneed the Barber, Strictly Skills Barbershop in Queens, Long Island. This is Z the Great. A uh, little dedication to Z the Great. I actually got this for the whole fam. And we like to sit, salute Strictly Skills uh, Barbershop and send up you, sis, salute to Z the Great. Live every day like it's your birthday. And we'd like to take a chance uh, to go down the line. Sis Luke Toshiba for coming on to the show, making the way Salute. from Connecticut. Uh, we got Trills over here from New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey, Dante, uh, creator of the BBA, and over here from New Jersey, Jesse That Cut from upstate New York. We got Tr we got uh, Edu, uh, Edu, Edu from Edu. Finland, Finland, Finland. Finland. And we'd also like to sis Luke him and congratulate him for winning out of six thousand. People, yes. I believe, all 6,000 votes he got for, from Jay Majors checking out the CT Barber Expo. Use this salute to Gus for coming in the clutch, coming down here 
the showcase. Gave, and yeah. since salute to your model from where? From uh, Power 105, DJ Create. Power 105, so salute. We were just listening to Power 5 over here. We did it. Yeah, remember we was talking about DJ Clue? We like, DJ Clue's still around? What did he say? The best <laughs> <laughs> so my girl's like, no, no. <laughs> well, hopefully Clue watching. Yeah, and that's still, and no. Ernie knows what time it is. Sin Slew. And we're going to put these hands in right quick. We're going to do a Sin Slew sound off. Right here, when I say Sizzle, you say salute and say it as loud as you can. Sizzle! Salute! You see that, Julian? Last week, I asked you to be loud. You used to be really loud, and you weren't. And he was right here. That's how you kept it real loud right here. And listen, if you like house music, stay tuned. Give us a thumbs up on StrongIsland.tv. And then check out StrongIsland.tv. You're going to have my house shows coming up next. StrongIsland.tv, the quickest and biggest growing TV channel on Facebook Live. I'd like to take a chance to salute Wifey and thank her. We was over there raking up all them leaves in the backyard. Wifey! Boy. Oh, we were going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> doctor says I need a bacchiotomy. Check us out next week. So salute. <laughs> a bacchiotomy.